Hello everybody, welcome to Five Idiots, um, another episode. I'm Jimmy Fantastic and I've got a human fighter called Daka. Elliot. <laughs> oh, sorry. I, I, it, it looks different to me on Discord. I didn't know who you were pointing to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Nobody exactly. yeah, yeah you're, you're the bottom on your own on mine. <laughs> yeah, uh, hello, I'm Eliod, um the Nom, a level 3 gnome cleric um, specializing in, in life, healing order, it's called the Divinity of Life. Um, hello. Elquist, <clears throat> in game Floral Snarp, Goblin Sorcerer. So far, absolutely fucking shit at throwing any kind of spell at all to to actually hit my opponents. But we'll see about that. And I am Dimitri of the Hancock Tosser, and uh, I will. I'm a fighter, axe man, badass, and I do all the heavy heavy lifting around here because these guys are, as they say, absolutely US. <laughs> wow. <laughs> 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 Jesus Christ! A great way to alienate your team, there, uh, Dimitrios. Someone's I'm not getting healed. Your backs, if anything, yeah. <laughs> if, well, if I well, imagine what happens to you lot if I die, right? Imagine, right? Just imagine that. <laughs> All right. So, uh, quick recap from last episode, gentlemen. You made it. You made it into the into the wonderful area of Tillich, the glade of Tillich, the the farmlands of Tillich, whatever you'd like to call it, over to the manor. You uh, briefly touched bases with Fincher, with Finches and Faps. Um, you were invited to. <laughs> this always gets Jim, and it's great. You were invited to, you know, have a look around. Feel free to to explore, take whatever samples you want. They're they're obviously very very interested in in a, a partnership with at least some of the locals, trying to get things spun back up to what their their aunt, uh, one Laura Tillich, uh, had some years ago. Um, during that time frame. Apparently, uh, Florigal Snarp was able to sneak off because, uh, you know, our member of the Gray, the police force there, just didn't even notice that one of his team was gone. <laughs> and um, it was able to locate in one of the bedrooms of uh, one of the farmhouses a uh, trap door with a, uh, with, a, with a ladder going some 60 feet down underground into some natural caverns and or catacombs, whatever we'd like to call them. Um, moving into the catacombs... You encountered uh, nine giant rats and proceeded to blow your load of every ability attack. <laughs> um, most of your ammo just, just, and then, and then forgot that uh, you may actually face something else later down here. Mm. Um, moving forward, Flargo Snarp cast a, uh, an invis invisibility spell upon himself, uh, moved off ahead of the company, and were able, was able to see some type of a ceremony in progress and has now returned back to the party. So, uh, Flargo Snarp, you uh, you filled in the party. You've told them what it is you saw. There was uh, there was blood upon blood upon blood upon human parts upon horse parts upon cow parts. So, I mean, you name it, you saw it there, right? And uh, and now it's up to the party to decide what exactly it is they're going to do. Hmm. Flargo Snarp, at the end, I say quietly, at the end of last um, minute, you said that you might be able to put them to sleep in some manner. <laughs> yes, less than a minute ago I said that. <laughs> yes, several seconds ago. <laughs> just, 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 just refresh our memories on that. So, I do have a spell that uh, can put unaware creatures to sleep um it's not likely that i will put them all to sleep um but it would give us some form of head start and like reduce the number of <clears throat> cultists that we have to deal with if we choose to like engage in a more direct approach to rid our world of these dickheads are we like? Is anyone, is anyone like detected like evil or anything to see if this is like 
I know it looks bad. These are these are ridiculously evil cultists. They're oh, no, so it looks bad. I, know, look, I mean, you know, what I mean? they bathe in, they're bathed like... in blood and like they're. I'm I'm whispering this, by the way. Uh, of course, no, no, of course. <laughs> this is all assumed. <laughs> they're bathed in blood and they're hacking and slashing uh, humanoids apart. Uh, okay. okay. So, so it looks it looks pretty bad though. A, a valid <laughs> question to me, too, but yeah, the, the fact that there are humanoids involved being dismembered was, was, was what swings it, I think. Whoa. Whoa. Yeah, um, of course. Quick, quick question <laughs> for housekeeping here. With this. Who is currently yes, holding the torch? Uh, Sorry, what? I, I'm holding the torch. Hmm. Yeah. Oh, I should have made a little torch to hold. Oh my god. Uh... We, we're going to have to suspend the episode while uh, Elliot makes the torch. <laughs> hold on, hold on, hold on it, one sec. I'm going to get your, can, get your light back up here. We can a short rest while Elliot builds this, and then you guys get some of your like skills back to, so we can actually <laughs> kill the dumb dumb. I'm sure they're evil. You have doubts, Daka? Okay, mm. Elliot, you now have a oh. torch in your hands that you see there, and then that oh, way nice. they will see... They've got to move within your... Sure. Right. Your well, torch casting so, distance. <laughs> so what I'm thinking, this so, uh, Flagel, you say they they they're lighted, right? That there's some light where they are. I, from what I recall, from less than two minutes ago, <laughs> when I was there. Yes, um, it wasn't a week ago. It was definitely two minutes ago. <laughs> yes, yes, we haven't <laughs> sat here for a week. Um, I do seem to recall there being a source of light, but um, so I mean, it would also be super fucking weird, right? There are like seven cultists standing around in a in semicircle. In, yeah, they can't be standing in the pitch black. Like, yeah. So he's they can idea. see me. Have, no, have wait, actually, I was invisible. Have you actually detected evil, or is this just your like gut feeling? I fucking evil. Okay, okay, I believe I don't have it. to. <laughs> I don't they have to detect evil. I've, got this, this. I've got this image of you guys just, you know, like like everybody's whispering at each other. Well, did you check if he's evil? He's fucking evil, man. He's fucking evil. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, some this people were into some pretty weird right stuff, now. you know. It might, it might be consensual, we don't know. <laughs> but, you know. <laughs> It might be, to be fair, it was that German guy, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. oh yeah. the German guy, yeah. But he was still arrested, right? The, the guy yeah, who waited. Yeah. You can't, yeah, you can't yeah, consent yeah. to assault even in England. Thanks to yeah. R versus Brown. There you go. Right. Nice, nice. Oh, okay, Jesus. so, right, What guys, we could obviously. do here is, right, rather than using this, this wonderful torch that Elliot the Nom has, how about... <laughs> right? I, like, hold Daedal's hand... <laughs> Uh, Flagel's hand <laughs> and Dimitriov holds Elliot's hand and they guide us in the pitch black until we see these oh, this lighted thing and then we can see yeah. them right because that we don't sounds... want to give away our position yeah yeah that sounds like a okay. good idea I'm going to tell you right now so you're in a cavern mm. right so even if so I want you to imagine like somebody who you, you put on a blindfold and somebody's leading you down like a wooded path mm that you will still have a chance to trip. Mm. Right? Just keep that in mind. And I will make you make um, uh, rolls on your entire, every 30 feet as you move, there will be some type of a, of, of a check for that, probably dexterity, mm. just so you know. How, how far because like I said, even though, yes, they will have vision, they can lead you down the center. There's still, it's, it's, it's rough earth. There's rocks, yeah, yeah, you know, sense. not, yeah, not giant sense. boulders. Yeah. How, how far are we from the light source? Um, I'd say about uh, 30 feet and then so it's not like th th then there's like a gap of 30 feet where between like 30 feet ahead there's a sharp turn to the right um, and in there's this like cavern where where they are and then um, if you if you walk if you ignore that and walk straight ahead for thirty feet, there's like a huge pillar um, that you can also hide behind. So I I made it over to that pillar um, and checked, and like there's no one down in the left 
the far far down to the left, but okay. uh, but the cavern the cave ends there, uh, as far as I can tell. Uh, so like, it. no, this is like the, this is like the end of the cave uh, right here, um, and they're all down here to the right, and then there's like yeah, there's a there's a span of thirty feet thirty feet ahead where where you can enter uh, their part of the cave. You reckon you saw like seven? Was it? Uh, yeah, I think so. Like, I think it was seven. Like six, six uh, henchmen, and then one, one leader. What do you guys think? Did the leader look like magical or anything, or just like with the others? Or no, like they're all they're definitely cultists. They're doing something. Like I, I don't know how much magical how, prowess they have. Okay. Uh, but they they weren't like they weren't summoning anything. No wizard staffs. No, like what you could tell from what you told us. <laughs> remember, like five minutes oh, ago. Oh yes, I remember. Yes, very, <laughs> it, very recently. Yeah. This seemed very. This seemed very much like a, a religious uh, uh, ceremony rather than uh, summoning. Fair, mm. fair. I don't suppose there's any way we can like split them up, right? Can we like distract them? No, it's go it's gonna be difficult. That's why I suggested mm -hmm. like me putting them to sleep. Like that's probably the best, um, the the most we can get out of like the most we can separate them. How, how uh, many do you think you can put to sleep? And then like, will they wake up when we start fighting, or will they? No, they, they will. They will. They will. Let me double check that. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um. I'm gonna yeah. I'm gonna tap inside my my knowledge here. Uh, <laughs> give me a second while I sit and ponder things. <laughs> Can I do a perception check to see if he's lying about any knowledge being in there? <laughs> <laughs> wow! <laughs> I can't open my character sheet. Like the whole double, double uh, right click on your click, uh, yeah. The whole forge seems to be frozen. Like it says game paused. Oh, sorry about that. Yeah, I apologize. That's I didn't unpause it yet. <clears throat> oh, there we go. Um, spellbook. Is it like a coma thing where they will just go out, or is it like uh, the spell like... sends creatures into magical slumber? Uh, the total uh, roll five d eight. The total is how many hit points of creatures the spell can affect. Um, creatures within 20 feet of you choose within range of a point you choose within range are affected. Uh, so uh, the spell has a range of 90 feet. Then I put like, all right, a center of that and 20, 10, 10 feet out uh, from that center. I can put people to sleep, uh, are affected in ascending order of their current hit points, ignoring unconscious creatures. So uh, do you understand what that means, lowest... What? Do you understand what that means, brother? Um. Yeah, yeah. So this, it starts with the lowest current hit point, and then like whoever has highest is gonna be put to sleep the last. Okay. Correct, and then it uses up the hit points as those. So I don't tell you how many. So if you roll five d eight and you roll a, a ten. Yeah. The first 10 hit points of people will fall asleep provided it covers all of their hit points. Does that make sense? Yeah. 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 So, oh. so if you had two people with eight hit points each, only one guy would fall asleep if you rolled a 10. Ooh. So, uh, the, each, each creature, each, each creature affected by the spell falls unconscious until the spell ends. The sleeper takes damage. Or someone uses an action to sh shake or slap the sleeper awake. Okay, um, so they will stay asleep unless the, oh, okay. Unless yeah, so like loud noises we'll will not or... loud noises no. will not wake them up, but like a shaking would wake them up. Well, a yeah, physical that's, jarring that's, is what we'll say. Yeah, that takes uh, away an action from their teammates or us like misfiring at them. Um, well, if, so if, like, I reckon, I reckon if if you go in there send as many to sleep as possible we'll burst down whoever's closest to them so they can't shake yeah them. well i guess like if it's a turn well they won't know what's happening will they and then like what we got to kill seven people between and four we'll be in the dark as well right we'll be in the dark so we should surprise yeah, we, we, we should we should have advantage like a significant advantage at the start of combat um but that will not last 
right? Because yeah. they're outnumbering us. Um, so are we? We have it's four against seven, right? Can we use a choke point uh, to to fight them? Uh, yeah, and, I mean, and, we, and... we could we could just like we could just um, right right here. Uh, this is this hallway is basically as narrow as it gets. So like, if we just go down uh, to the right, thirty feet ahead of us, and then like I put them to sleep. We am like we we start engaging and then we back off here uh, into here like this is a good choke point right um, okay. it doesn't give us like a good overview of the guys that are asleep like if they wake up but uh, they would have to come out um, here into the darkness and like they wouldn't know where we are so I think that this is a good good place to fight them like we we. We walk out, engage, and then pull back. Well, we can have the we can leave the like the torch on the ground, right? We can leave the torch yeah. on the ground here. It, so it, it, it would it would uh, it would illuminate the area here, which is not. It, it goes like, out after one we round fight, because it's not getting oxygen on all sides. Uh, yeah, all right. Can we not like? Can we not? Stick but it's pretty good for us not to be illuminated, right? If we want to yeah, fight really them here, we want to be in the dark. Well, no, because I need to see. <laughs> <laughs> no, but you'll see them when they come around because, like, they can't see in the fucking dark, can they? Oh yeah. So if they chase oh, us so with like, torches, yeah, they're gonna be they illuminated chase us with torches. Yeah. Otherwise, you'll have to scream, and we'll have to come up with something to <laughs> 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 further. How like, we'll, we'll have to yell. <laughs> how tall were the cultists? I can't say how tall they were. Like they were human. They okay. seemed human. They were they were humanoid. We're not talking were gnomes humanoid. or goblins. No, no, no. They were human-ish. Uh, okay. Are there any human-sized <laughs> things that can see in the dark? Human. Yeah, drow can, and they, wow. just normal elves can, can't they? But drow a bit, a bit better. Yeah. Doesn't really um, seem like an elfy kind of activity, does it? Doesn't know. Do, don't you have like a spell that can create light, uh, Elliot? Um, shit, I was not pressing my push talk. I can make a light sort of flicker and stuff, but it's it's mostly for role play. I think <laughs> uh, I can right. I can like attack people with a flame like radiance, but I don't think that really does a permanent light either. No. Um... I can I can only create a ma minor illusion, uh, but I don't spam. think I can create. Um... Oh, sorry. It's all right. Yeah, I, I it it can't create uh, sound or light or smell uh, or other sensory effects. So Doc, it's like... give me give me another perception check with advantage. Oh, baby. Ooh. Um... I ask, you're asking things now. <laughs> <laughs> yep, remember, open your sheet, left-hand side, you'll see perception. Yep, yep, it took me a Left-click it, and then it should say at advantage. Whoa. Okay, so the chanting has stopped. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. We've I talked guess it's decision time. We've talked too long. Let's go, let's do the, let's do the go in the darkness thing. Yeah? Holding hands. Holding hands. Leave so I, drop, I drop the torch and put it out. <clears throat> Here we fucking go. <laughs> I'm getting nervous. <laughs> okay. Okay, so I'm just gonna show this for chat really quick. This is this is Dimitriov's view right now. <laughs> it's dark. <laughs> it's fucking dark. <laughs> Poor guy, dude. Okay, so this is gonna be interesting. So I don't necessarily want everybody because because Dimitriov and Daka can't see the map literally. Yeah. So I don't want them yeah. to move. What I but I know that Dadel and Eliad can move. So <clears throat> um, it is should not we just totally. Leave their, I'm sorry. Their, uh, should should they leave their like um, tokens back here? No, no, no. And... This is hold on one sec. So this is how we're going to do this. So um, there is still like murmuring going on ahead, right? There's, it's not totally silent. Like they've heard something. They're just the chanting is stopped. You can hear it's you're in the caves. You can hear the the soft banter between people on rare occasion. They're not laughing it up. They're not drinking beers with each other, stuff like that. But you can hear things. So this is how this is going to work. And I'm and then I'm going to let you guys retcon if you want to change this after I tell you. <laughs> now, um, Dadel and Eliad, 
will have to give me um, uh, oh god why can't I remember hold on one sec they're going to have to give me stealth checks Jesus at advantage because they are seeing and they're they're actively sneaking um, uh, Daedal has completely filled in the party and we're at golden and right? all at the like same we're... time okay. both um, both Daka and Dimitriov will take a um, dexterity check regular at a DC 12. So they've got to roll a 12 or better, or they've tripped over something. Okay. The DC for the, uh, for the, for the stealth check is also going to be 12 because you're relatively well filled in. So what, what's happening basically is you're leading two people who are blind down a hallway that you can see in. So you're looking back, you're looking down at their feet. You're, you know what I mean? There's, there's active movement going on here. So if you're comfortable with that, what we'll do is Elliot and um, Flargosnarp, just move your tokens ahead 30, 25 and 30 feet or 25 and 25 feet. Um, Daka and Dimitrov, I will move you forward to where they are after you guys make the rolls. Thank you. So give me the stealth checks first from, uh, from Flargosnarp and Elliot, please. <laughs> Wait, you pulled me back one square? Is is this a, a normal normal check? No, no advantage. you guys are at advantage. Because, at, at advantage. Yes. Oh, because we filled in. Because right. you know what's going on, yes. Am I one square back? Cause like... oh, yeah, you've got to hold his hand, right? <laughs> easy. So Elliot easy. barely oh, makes it. Very you nice. Can go Elliot, 30, ahead, very feet. stealthy. You can go 30, <laughs> Well, I don't point? think you want yeah, Dado but... pulling anybody <laughs> ahead, right? Get... It doesn't even get me to like this the the choke point. Twenty five feet. There you go. All right, Dado, right. give me Where's your the... uh, your checks at advantage. Stealth check at advantage. Um... Just oh, oh baby. Oh, okay. Just... So move <laughs> move it. Okay, um, Elliot. I'm assuming you have Dimitriov. Yes. Come, come, come with me, to Dimitri. Is it ability Take my check? Uh, is it ability check? It's not a saving throw. We're fucking great. No, it's at an ability this. check. We're, we're so, Dadel, Dadel, <laughs> move your move your token forward twenty five or thirty feet if you want to break ahead of Elliot. And then is my normal? Oh, what? I'll do mine. Oh god. Uh oh. Hmm. I rolled bad. Hey, give me, have give me you yours, Dimitri. You inspiration of you, Jim. I should be fine. I've got plus two. Okay, so fifty-fifty and not fall over. Fuck's sake. Okay, so thirteen, twelve, twelve, and nine. <laughs> so Daka, you still have your inspiration. You may use that if you want to. Do I have to? I'd, I'd probably rather save you it. Don't for have to. You don't have to. But like, mate, they're gonna come running out if you fall over, mate. Do you reckon? Yeah. Do you reckon and it's pitch black. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's pitch yeah. black and we're, we're oh, like... Right, I'll use it then. I don't know whose idea this was, but, you know. I thought it was a good idea. <laughs> it was a good idea. Oh, no! <laughs> okay, so... Getting me as, dice as, was a bad as idea. As Flargal Snarp in his, in his, in his haste and, and his, his little goblin feet are, are traipsing along and he's, he's pulling Daka and Daka's hand slips away from him for a, for a second. He, as he trips over a rock and falls over onto the ground, let me. I'm going to have the two closest individuals make perception checks at a DC 10 to see if they hear you. All right, so you're rolling for the. Yeah. So 10 or more hears us. Oh, probably an 8 or more or something if they've got. I can see oh, one that nice. I'm from here. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, no, plus one more, one more. Okay, that one's complete. He is a cultist, look. Blood cultist. Uh oh. <laughs> It's a blood coist. Ooh. Ooh. Okay, so you don't hear any anything out of the ordinary ahead. Okay, so I can see one that I'm from here. <clears throat> so are you in range to cast your uh, uh no, I, I can only see the southernmost of the cultists. They're all to the north of him. Um right here. Okay, he so does. Like, he does not take any specific or special notice of you at all, Flargo. 
Yeah, I can't see anything, Flaggle, mate. So. Yeah, we need, no, we need to see the lights. Yeah, we're we're good. We're we're, we're, we're we're gonna we're gonna need to um, walk further forward. I can't see the cultists yet either, Flaggle Snob. So no, if you if you would like literally step on me, you would be able to see him. Yeah. But um, um, yeah, are, we're, we're are gonna you doing this again. Yes, we're gonna need to progress if we're gonna do this. Okay, so well Flaggle, you're gonna go no, first. No, no, actually, we we wouldn't need. I we can't see them. That we need to put them to see them. Not to, yeah, yeah. Otherwise, like it doesn't make sense to put them asleep if you can attack them after. Yeah, yeah. We need we no. need to get close enough so that they're illuminated. So yeah. All can... right. This is. I just want to let you gentlemen know that this is a first for me. <laughs> I've never had a party leading blind people down the hallway <laughs> going into combat. <laughs> I just want to let you know that I've been playing this a long time. I thought it was a good idea. Yeah. I didn't say it was a bad idea. I just simply said it was a first. There's a difference. <laughs> All right, um, just like when Rick took Adji up on a, on a roller. Okay, it's well, a, that a terrible. That, that idea. was a bad idea. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that, I think, that, I think yeah. you might be trying to tell us something. <laughs> 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 all right. Yeah. Are we, are we just doing this again then? Yeah. Yeah. Let's, let's go for it. It's up to you guys. It. Who's up first? So, think... um, Flargo, you're in the lead. So I'm going to say you're yeah. probably going to go first. Yeah. Um, All right. So stealth check at advantage, please. So I'm just gonna like see if, where we sh where we should stand because like I I'm gonna basically lead you out into the open now. Um, mm -hmm. So like you're gonna have to remember sort of like the direction we're walking. Good to meet you. So that you can so that you can pin back this way. Once we've attacked, once we've ambushed them and they they're responding, on, right? You You're gonna have ambush to remember the way in the dark. We'll just keep fighting them. We're not gonna run away once we ambush them because I've got a crossbow. Right, I can just, shoot them. And yeah, right. Then, we're, then we won't have a choke point then. Yeah, that's okay. We don't need a choke point. Do we? All right, all right. We need to kill them. Oh, Jesus Christ! Focus them down. Get them killed. Easy. Okay, easy Fargo, stuff. you're good. So go ahead and move ahead. You're thirty feet. Daka daka. Dimitriov, go ahead and I'm sorry, um, Elliot, give me your uh, stealth checks at advantage. Oh, fuck. <laughs> you got an inspiration? I do, I do. We've already got advantage though, so. Oh. What does that mean? You can't do. Oh, Are you, you going to use an inspiration one. here, Elliot? Okay, ca can I? Mm -hmm. Yes, so you, but you would only be able to roll one. You don't get a double roll. Okay, well, yeah, let, let, let's go. So I just roll, I do one normal stealth roll. Exactly, yeah. and then untick your, um... Yeah. Hey. Easy stealth. Oh. Okay, perfect. <laughs> okay, move ahead to your 25, please. Daka, give me your, um... Give me your, um... Dexterity. Dexterity check, please. Oh, fuck. Easy. Okay, oh. let me move you forward one second. What is it? Why is... Oh, why is there's gold? light! There's light. Yeah, I told you there was light. I told you there was light. Yes. Okay, <laughs> now the now the big one, Dimitriov, give me your dexterity check. Yes, do it, Dimitriov. <laughs> oh, no. Do you have inspiration? inspiration? <laughs> oh, it is my inspiration. Oh, oh no. inspiration to tame a rat. So close. <laughs> oh, yeah, he tamed the fucking rat. <laughs> 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 Yes. Wait, wait, another one. Yes, Trump. No. <laughs> yes. Okay, so that one, it was a percept for them. It was a twelve, also. So luckily, yes. they don't hear Dimmy stumble again. Yes. Oh I can't God. believe I'm letting this happen. Oh, I can see that. Nice. Coming to celebrate. All right, so I, I, okay. give a, I give a little tap to Flagel so that he knows that I can see them. Right. I can yep. see six guys. Yeah, we'll 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 say that you guys had that set up in advance. That the minute you had some type of vision, you, your signal would have been like caressing his ear lightly or something. You know, the, oh, the yeah, edges yeah. of his little goblin ear. <laughs> Stroke his lobe. Stroke the lobe. Right, Yoda. No. Light touch. <laughs> Don't touch my fucking ear. Gizmo. <laughs> so what's that? What's that combat order here? Dimmy goes in first, right to tank. 
and and us three behind. No, no, we, hey, we just like we, we sleep, we sleep, we shoot, <laughs> we cast spells, and then we sh- we we cast spells and shoot and cast spells and shoot and cast spells and shoot, yeah. and then eventually yeah. they'll they'll they, think where the fuck are they, you know? And then they'll run out, yeah. and then Dimmy will charge forward and fuck them up. Yeah, but like in yeah. terms of positioning, right? Like Dimmy wants to be in front, right? Sure. Well, yeah, yeah. <laughs> In terms of positioning, I think Dimitri also. positioning matters until things. I will start. also say this. Let me let me just make something abundantly clear here. Moving through the dark area, you get to move. It's half movement unless somebody's leading you, mm-hmm. and there will be dexterity checks again. I mean, it will. It won't be dark when they charge us, exactly. right? Or yeah, when they yeah. come looking for us. Yeah. So yeah, that's the light what comes into view. For. Of course, whatever they, whatever you can see. So. When it's your turn, I'm gonna I'm gonna click on your token to see what the hell you can see. <laughs> yeah, but like they they can't see us. Currently, no. Cur- not yeah. currently, no. Yeah, so, so like, there's no charging from Dimmy until they exactly. can see us. Exactly. So we've got the advantage. So we shoot and cast spells until until Dimmy can see them, and then Dimmy can charge forward, right? No, until they can see Dimmy. Well, yeah, same difference. Well, when they yeah, when they come charging us, like we yeah. start counter charge, and he can throw his cup. It's like an episode of the Keystone. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> it, 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 yeah. Can I ask a question or do some kind of perception check or something? What what's so this? What do you? What do you? Yes, you may take perception checks. You're in the dark. You're hidden. You're quiet. What are, What are you looking for? I I noticed that one of the cultists has some kind of icon above their heads. <laughs> what the what does the What does it's the icon mean? That, oh, that's <laughs> the guy with the torch. Yeah. Oh right, right, okay. I the way the torch. that you had the torch, that's the that's the guy with the light source. Oh, okay. Oh, shoot the guy with the torch. Oh, and then, and then the gnome and the goblin could kill them all. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, I know oh, that the oh, goblin oh. could kill them all. <laughs> <laughs> Two fighters. <laughs> the gnome and the goblin can handle this. <laughs> <laughs> just sit down, eat your lunch. Are oh, you gonna take care of this? Can I draw my mace now? By the way, now that I dropped my uh, torch. Yes. Yeah. I'm I assuming you already mace. did. I've okay, assumed okay. your shield and mace. Oh. Uh, yeah. uh. But I can't cast with a shield and a mace. I Correct. Can't. So, did you want to put your? You, I, if, you, if you only want mace, that's fine. I'll just stick with the mace. Yeah. Yeah. You've got it. You're good. So make sure that right. you take. So open your character sheet and unequip your ma- your shield. Ah. Okay. So, so you go to your inventory, and you see the little like character, like the little head and shoulders to the right of it. Got it. There got you it. go. And now your AC drops. Ah, okay. So I'm gonna use my last second level spell to uh, to cast a sleep spell at a higher level. To to roll seven d eight instead of five d eight. Hang on, will, will they notice when they go to sleep? That they're surely right. Oh well, yeah, because the guys are gonna drop. Well, sh- can can I heal Jimmy before we start? Or or do you want to bless that him? create a light source or anything? I don't think so. What just... what healing are you gonna use? Cure wounds? Well, well, do do we think we want do you want a healing Jimmy or do you think we want to blessing? Um, blessing the blessing the blessings. The blessings channeled though is the thing, so I can't cast anything else. Oh, wait, bless no, I... is really good. The problem is that like Daedal doesn't roll a hit, does he, with his spells? Mm. Yeah. So like yeah. if like it helps me and Dimmy a lot, the the bless. But then it's only helping two when it could be helping like, you know, three if Daedal had a, like maybe it's a magic missile or whatever rather than I don't know. I mean I I have like a crossbow as well that I can shoot with, but I think it I'm gonna Prefer just casting like the the spells that I have. Um, I'll I'll cast the bless because I have AOE heals anyway. So you'll hmm. be so uh, ho- hopefully everybody else takes damage and you don't, and then we can heal everybody at the same time. Yep. Right. So wait, are you fucking rearranging the cultists <laughs> now? Yeah, they're they're moving around. They're not standing still. You guys are talking. They're not but coming towards you. They're for... we're not talking. We're not I, talking. I know you're not, but you're sitting here looking at them. <laughs> no, 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 no. I won't. <laughs> not, they're not frozen this. statues. Right? Can I cast oh. blessing then? Can I? Can I do that or bless? I mean. Okay, so bless is verbal and somatic, meaning you've got to use your hands and some type of verbal notion. So when not a verbal notion, but a verbal action. Verbal cannot be whispered in a spell. You're calling oh, your okay. your deity. You're calling the chief engineer to bless them. Yeah, so you, right. it's, you know this is something that you have to do proudly and loudly and 
Oh, no, no blessing then, I think, right. So we, we... let's go Daedal Spell, then me shoot, and then hopefully we'll get another round after that because of surprise. <laughs> Like hopefully we can all attack first, right? Surely we can all attack first, right? Like, so what are we yes. doing here? Like, well, surely we can all just attack at the same time. Like, surely we can like cast the sleep. Yeah, Daedal spell first, right? Everything, yeah. Look at that fucking beautiful That's spell. Good. That's a pretty good AOE. Oh. Holy shit! How many oh, hit points oh. now? Uh, seventy-eight. Yeah. I mean, it can't get them all right. Like, surely they'll have more no. health than that. Okay, so 37. 37 from the bottom up. Isn't that, like, just fucking out? No, wait, that's way... No, no that's... It's you could have gotten about 56. Average. Yeah, it's just it's about... Way 7 times 8 is 56, so that's over half. Yeah, it's way better. Well, is it way better than... No, it's it's eight, 4 and a half, it's isn't eight it? to 58. It's just four average. Yeah. It's 4 and a half times 7, what's that? 28, 31 is average. Yeah, so it's 32. just about average. So it's good. It's above average. Give me one sec, guys. I'm doing math. <laughs> Nerd. <laughs> we can work out that because two of them are down, they've got less than... Oh, all three sweet. of them are down, so they've got 12, 12 health max. We can work, we can work mm. out... <laughs> <gasps> what? what? They've got nine. They're fucking weaklings. Oh, the torch Sweet. fell off. No, oh, the torch no. guy fell asleep. <laughs> Don't. <laughs> Don't. My spell was too hard. <laughs> <laughs> the best laid plans of mice and men, right? Right. It's up to you too. <laughs> These are some shit cultists. <laughs> okay, hey, hold on a sec here. What was your total roll? Thirty-seven. Okay, so. Okay, so that's. <laughs> That's everybody who's asleep. Oh, brilliant. All right, so we saw four drops, so there are three there that are awake. Right, you two need to fucking ninja these assholes. So well, what, are, we, are we advancing now, or what? Are we still waiting? Wait, so, all right. Okay, Day so Daedal, Daedal's, Daedal's action is done. He may move or take an, a, a bonus action. They, they will have to... My bonus action is whispering plants with my teammates. So they're uh, they're going to have to relight the torch, right? Because they don't know what hit them. Yeah. So, and four of them are out. So like three of them are going to stumble around now to light a torch. Like that's, that's what's going to happen unless they're fucking numb nuts. Yeah. So, so I, I say we wait. Um, or if you can cast like an area of effect spell, but, but if we, but if that we would wait, wake them they, up. they'll wake each other up, right? No, they don't know who. They don't know that they're asleep, right? Well, they'll find they're, out. They know they're they well. Know who they, their fucking so, teammates are. They know. So four people dropped instantly. The torch fell on the ground, and then took a few seconds, and then went out. So they saw the the people have fought. There's something. There's something amiss. Yeah. Just, yeah. They, so they, they don't stumble around, and as soon as we see something, we shoot them. Yeah, yeah. I can ready an action. You don't know what is happening. Yeah, ready actions. Okay, so um, Daedal, I need to know what you're going to do. We're, we're moving here. This is now in combat. Yeah, I can't. I can't do anything. Like I. Well, that's I something. So no, no movement or anything. Move, but you can move if you want. Yeah. yeah. Where would I like to move? I don't want to move. Okay. No, that's fine. Okay, so Elliot, you I would be next here. Um. Yeah, I'm no, right here. This is considered to be your your um. Oh God, is, you're moving. Okay, you're moving there. That's fine. This is considered. So now, <laughs> Dadel, I'm going to give you a piece of advice here. Yeah. As a bonus action, you have the ability to to become hidden. Now you're in the dark already, so you you would get a a, a an advantage at this. All right. So that, I want you to start to, to use hidden. the abilities of the goblin race here. All right, I want to become hidden. <laughs> That's why I moved here behind this pillar, right? To no, get that's, that's like perfect, an additional right? vantage so, point. So um, roll a stealth check at advantage. Uh, and we'll call uh, it a DC 10 again because it's in the dark. Stealth. I actually shouldn't tell you the DC, but I'm telling you this time. The um, 
Usually when we do, you're fine there. Usually when we do stealth checks, I won't tell you the DC because you don't know if you're hidden or not. Mm, yeah. But with a roll like that, you're, I mean, you are stealthy as all fuck. All right, Ellie, you're up, my friend. <laughs> yeah. I, I've moved, I'm done. You're not casting you moved any and you're spells? Done? Why, we don't want to, I still don't want to tip their hand right, I think. You can ready an action that if the light comes on, you can, like, do something, right? Uh, do you have any, like, aggro spells, like fucking fireballs or shit? Yeah, yeah, I could, I could ready a, a cantrip um, attack spell. Can I Can I do that then? Can I ready a... Uh... Of course. Ready, what's this one called? Uh, sacred Flame. Ready my Sacred Flame. Absolutely, you may. And what is your? Oh, what are you waiting for? To on? Right, uh, so that we don't wake them up. Let me just check out with a range on it. Uh, six, oh, yeah, so I'm waiting until the light comes on. It's 60 feet range, so I'll be in range of them when the light yes. comes on. I'm a sneaky kid, Goblin. <laughs> <laughs> yes, you are. <laughs> 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 All right, so that's and that's it. Okay, and then um, Dimitriov and Daka, you get actions if you want them. Yeah, you're well, in the dark, but you get actions if you want them. So, well, we can ready actions, right? Hancock. Uh, Absolutely, Dimitri's you may. He's got his handcocks. I've got my crossbow, so we can just we can just ready an action in case the light comes on. We can shoot him. Is that what uh, you're doing? My range of my handcocks is not going to be sufficient. Do you have any other range weapon? What is it? Nope. Uh, it doesn't. Uh, t oh, hang on. So, twenty to sixty feet. But... Sixty. That's sixty. That's plenty. So that's sixty negative. feet would be a roll negative. at disadvantage. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's that's okay. So that's that's, that's regular and then already, long range. Already, yeah, already, already that ain't caught, But yeah, you don't... can still ready it. I mean, you don't have to fire it. It's you don't yeah. have to say it's it's you know it's not an automatic. We'll have an advantage though from being hidden though, right? So it'll cancel out the advantage and disadvantage. Well, am I hidden? Well, yeah. yeah, yeah, you guys are hidden. Can we see you? We're hidden as fuck. <laughs> We're hidden as fuck. I don't know, mate. All I can see is black. But that's what they yeah. can see. <laughs> exactly. Okay, so I just want to make sure that's it, right, boys? <laughs> yep, that's it. That's it. Let's go. Okay, this one lights a torch. Right. Pew. <laughs> 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 Make sure you're That's targeting him for me. Does idiot. Uh, right. I'm gonna shoot the nearest one, I guess. That's the good idea, isn't it? What? No, not the nearest one. The nearest one that's awake. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. That's, yes. that's what I yeah. meant. Uh, how do I target? There. You just did. Double click. Yep. Uh, so just. Ah. Okay. Um. Has anyone got any handcuffs on them? Uh, Elliot, what I did was move into range so I could see them even in the dark. Ah, oh, clever. But well, it's light now anyway, right? Yeah. <laughs> so now I sort of regret my choice. Because <laughs> now I'm closer to them. 17. Okay, so that hits. Go ahead and roll for damage, please. Glorious. I see a fired arrow. So, Pew. what... Was this an advantage? No, because we had advantage for being hidden, but disadvantage for range. Oh, I'm pretty sure ah, yeah, yeah, it's, it's right, disadvantage okay. for range, but advantage for hidden, so they cancel okay. out. Cool. I didn't know that applied to you as well as Dimmy. Yeah, that would anybody who is hidden from another from the target they're shooting. So just because they're hidden doesn't always mean because somebody else they may be in a hidden state to one person, but not to another. If that makes sense. Oh shit, I'm out of range. Anything, Dimitrov? You're uh, you're muted. Uh, am I in range? I don't know. Sixty foot. Might not be. No, not uh, not the wake up one. Yeah, yeah. I thought that was easy in range. Yeah, you'd have thought so, wouldn't you? So is it not sixty foot then? So I can't do anything anyway, can I? Nope. You well, could go forward in the dark one. really slowly and no, carefully. I if I shoot a sleeping one, it's going to wake him yeah, up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah, I yeah. won't bother. Yeah. I will sit out my turn. Same, I guess. Okay, you could, so um, if you you'll open up your combat right? tracker, we'll roll for, we'll oh, roll for um, this, initiative this now. For range for your, uh, for your crossbow, uh, Jimmy? Pardon? What, what's should... the range for your... 30 short range and like more long range. Oh, because my light crossbow has like 8320. 
Am I rolling? He's got a hand crossbow. Yeah. Is this just normal? In this he also has a light crossbow as well. Yeah, I've got a light as well. Yeah, I could have just shot the normal. light crossbow, but I didn't. <laughs> normal initiative. Yeah. Yep. So roll your initiative, please. Oh, Dimitriov, baby. There you go. Oh, he's 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 diced me. Uh... Daka, look at this. Whoa. No. You guys are on fire. Flargo Snarp, you need to roll yours, brother. I rolled mine. Or did was that a not? I know you did, did, I did an you did an intelligence ability check. <laughs> yeah, it misclicked. Look All right, let me see if I can adjust that because I want to give you credit for that eighteen because that would have been your roll. Yeah. What? Yeah, it was, was seventeen was the roll, wasn't it? So it would have been nineteen plus two. Yeah, and would have been nineteen. There we go. Okay. Glorious. Okay, Daka, you are up first, sir. Four. Right. Um, Shoot so... the one with the torch. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. I don't know. They got it back up pretty quick, didn't they? So. Uh... Yeah, but like every time they do, like they have to do that, and like they can't use their actions to wake up people. True. 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 Um, I don't know. I think it's probably a good idea to try and focus people down, isn't it? And yeah, we've so heard you're this gonna before. shoot at the other one, right? <laughs> <laughs> See that instantly saw a target. Yeah. <laughs> yes, because he was CC'd. Come on. <laughs> Come <Stop>. on. <laughs> right. Is it safe to walk around in the pitch black or not? No, remember, you're going to have to do a dexterity <laughs> check at disadvantage because yeah. you're moving through darkness. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Just making sure, because you said about moving half yeah. speed, so, like, I didn't know. Yeah, I, you go yeah, half speed, and then you would take a um, a uh, dexterity check. All right, I'm just staying where I am then. So, If this was, like, a city street that was, you know, you knew it was flat, there would be yeah. no disadvantage. Right. Right, so I'll shoot that, that one that's closest to me awake. Um... The one so, you shot before, yeah? Yep. Okay. I'm still hidden, right? Yeah. No, no because you've already shot him once. He knows where you're coming from. He knows the, the, the general area right. of the okay. shot. They're aware that something... I mean, this guy took an arrow or a, a <laughs> bolt and just said, oh, look, that came out of me here, so he's somebody's shooting me from there. All right, fair enough then. Well, I'll just roll it again. And then, to make it so you're, you're, no, no, you're fine. So you're, 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 you're freaking tits with your crossbow, dude, so it's going to take a little bit for you not to hit. Go ahead and the, roll for damage. He takes a second round. to take an intelligence check to check if they're actually aware of where we are. Ugh. Five. That should be okay, enough. bonus action? Yep, shoot him again. Wait, how much yeah. hit points have you shot him for? Whoa. Um, oh, Seven. 12? Seven and five. Seven and five, yeah. It should be yeah. dead, right? Yeah, but they're, they're not all... They might not all be, be on the same... I like how Dimmy's like we, dictating we how strong we, something we, is. We slept, the, we slept the, the lowest hit points, uh, guys. Oof, 12? Like, the strongest ones are awake. Okay, yeah. the third round coming out of the darkness, he anticipates and is able to duck... Out of, out of, we'll say out of the way. You just miss him. I mean, it goes right over his shoulder. Scumbag. All right. Go ahead and advance your combat. Dimitriov, you're up. Right. So can I move and then throw my handcock? You may move half your movement, which is 15 feet. You will take a dexterity check at disadvantage at a DC 12. Yeah. Can you... Uh, if you move... fail it, you will be knocked prone. Yeah. Move me 15 foot forward, please. And I'll do no, that. You can move your, move your own character. I can't no, he's not sure where the walls are. Yeah. Freaking uh, <laughs> <laughs> Just walk into the wall. I mean, that's fair enough, right? Like, yeah, walk yeah, into the yeah. wall. <laughs> Just walk into the wall. Whoa. Nice. Wow. Wow. So, what, so that, that doesn't mean he's dexterous. That just means there was nothing in his way. <laughs> that's sure feet, Dimmy. Ninja Dimmy. <laughs> All right, Dimmy, now. So you've moved 15. Now you can use the dash action. Now, in this case, you would not be dashing. You can move another 15 feet with another dexterity check at disadvantage if you want to move again. Uh, no, then you would, you would not get I'm your in, attack. I think I'm in range of this guy. This is this is 60 foot or is this not 60 foot? It's 
So the Put out your rather... measuring stick. I yeah, you your can just heart. measure it by like moving, right? You can just go there and it goes boom and it says 70 for me. That's that's a really good feature with the moving thing. It's yeah, 55 to... foot. It says 55 foot. Yeah, so. yeah. Yep, so, is target him? so is it a normal attack because it's disadvantage? Because he hasn't seen me attack, right? So it's no, you would be you would be a normal attack. Yes, he hasn't seen you attack yet. This is my Hancock. Okay, you uh, miss him with the Hancock. No, I have to put it back now. Yep, do your dexterity check, <laughs> DC twelve, regular. <laughs> okay, you actually okay. So the cord snaps as you throw it. Right, just one of those things, or it comes off your wrist, whatever it is, and it, it flies back and it lands. It lands behind him on the ground. Oh shit! Diced. Yeah. Oh, and so now I'm they're now um, all of these guys are all kind of facing your direction because this this guy right here took friggin' two crossbow bolts <laughs> and a third over his shoulder. So they saw that come out of the darkness and hit the wall behind the guy. So now they know there's at least two of you out there. Doesn't give me an option to end my turn, though. Oh, yeah, I haven't ended mine. Sorry. Yeah, you've got to end yours first, Daka. Yep, yeah, I've ended. Okay, there we go, Blood Fanatic. Okay, so the, the this Blood Fanatic who, um, who took the two crossbow bolts... <laughs> He is going to move over to the closest blood cultist and wake him up. The fuck that. <laughs> <laughs> He's got two arrows in his chest, pretends to know where we are, and now is smart enough to wake up his mate. That's not real. All right, that's his, that's his movement. That's um, the indeed. People's abilities aren't impacted until they're dead. Doesn't yeah, matter if you've got a hundred HP. Well, just I would let you do the same thing, Fargo. Yeah, no, yeah, right? that's the four <laughs> keys and just sleep. Like, just I, I, I love how Dade was like, "Oh yeah, that's not real." And he's literally just <laughs> sent four people to sleep by channeling If they shoot his Randy, thoughts. if they do shoot the ones that are asleep, <laughs> yes. No, I didn't channel my thoughts. I I blew like a magic dust into the air, like for ninety <laughs> foot. <laughs> like, how how strong <laughs> is your breath? <laughs> Fucking strong! I'm enchanted oh. by the dragon's blood. All right, Fargo Sharp, you're up, dude. I'm gonna show you fucking breath. <laughs> Just you wait. <laughs> Bear in mind, Dimmy's been to tabletop blood ball events. <laughs> oh my god! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I've smelt. <laughs> Take game five UKTC, mate. <laughs> Alright, so the this one is a dis dexterity saving throw. But we which, can assume that they're fair they we can assume that they're fairly dexterous, right? Well they're humanoids. Do prone targets get like some kind of disadvantage to dexterity saving throws? Absolutely. You also get an advantage if there was an attack on them. Okay. All right. Good. Then we're acid splashing at level one. Which one? You've got to make sure you target him because then it'll tell you if you're in range. Well, I'm going to tar. All right. I've got 60 feet. I can target whoever I want. Okay, make sure you move out. I need to know which one, though, because I want to see if you're shooting into the column or not. I'm not shooting into the fucking column. <laughs> Just target the cultist. <laughs> <laughs> and plus you can move and then attack and then move, right? And stuff like yeah, that. Yeah, exactly. You can move however you want. Uh, there you go. There's no fucking way I can shoot into the fucking column. <laughs> <laughs> Calm down, dude. Calm this is like this is like the Blood Bowl intercept chart, okay? <laughs> Alright, so hit your damage. On the warpath, like yesterday I got like ambushed by fucking dick out outside when uh, when I was out with Isla and I uh, I've been Okay, did you roll your damage? Uh why can't You're casting it seventeen different save. spells. No, but I want to cast it as a level one spell. It's not. It's a can do that. All right. Well, my bad. Can I delete these? <laughs> just, just take the bottom one and hit damage. 
We'll get you there. All right. We'll get you, Flargo. So I'm gonna I'm gonna shoot two targets right with this one. Just just shoot the first one. Let's start there. Flargo. <laughs> hey. Oh, hey, look, we got him to hit the button. We all know they're gonna pass their dexterity checks anyway. And yeah. Do any yeah. Okay, so the first one makes his dexterity check. No yeah. way. He's on the floor. <laughs> oh no, I'm sorry. Hold on, hold on, hold on. He did. I'm sorry. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. One sec. <laughs> I did not click disadvantage. It's the worst of the two rolls. Oh, he's fair. Okay, good. He's so he takes one ball. point of damage. <laughs> what? One <laughs> point. point. How can he take one point of damage? <laughs> Thank Should you, Ellie, really, for pointing that out. <laughs> this this guy is a complete dragon. Okay, what's lord. next, uh, Flargo? Let's that keep rolling, shit brother. Spell, not gonna lie. That's yeah, I'm, I'm gonna, spell. Gonna, uh, yeah, this spell is so fucking terrible. Yeah, that is. It is a, literally a terrible spell. He plays uh, Yeah, that is true. So this one's next to him, right? The injured one. Okay. Go ahead and click the spell or the, the thing and then hit roll for damage, please. Can I use one of the past ones? That's <laughs> fine. Even though it hit that one, I'm still going to count the other. Don't worry. He should also have disadvantage because he's used his turn and he's <laughs> with his back against me, waking up his guy? mate with two oh crossbow bolts. <laughs> okay, so he's fine. <laughs> so dexterous. Okay. <laughs> they're, 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 they're Kislev. <laughs> I'm going to remove right, go your... that aren't just area of right, effect so poison this, clouds. This, this blood cultist is asleep. This blood cultist is asleep. Elliot, you're up next. I love Elliot. Just target the goddamn. <laughs> I think. Hmm, never mind. I'm not close enough to share my thoughts. Sacred flame. This is also pretty shit, but not as bad as the other one. <laughs> Sorry, what? <laughs> okay, so he fails his as well. Wow, you boys are really smashing these. Sorry, up. I forgot, forgot to suck. It's all right. It's, I'm, sure, I'm sure you shouted something gnomish and, uh, one and exciting. I, I, I shouted hit him. <laughs> yeah, okay, what, is, what else, Elliot? Is that it? Yeah, that's it. Man. Okay, forward, please. These okay, the blood acolyte. <laughs> I didn't get right to here. end my turn either. I think. I, I ended it for you because yeah. <laughs> I wanted to make sure things got moving. Yeah, fair enough. And he's gonna cast. Um, he's gonna cast cure wounds on the one that's wounded here. Oh fuck me! Oh, Wait, fuck we've lost. Then you. we've just lost. We've just lost. Why? Do, do 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 not lose faith, brothers. We can Instant win this yet. Why? Do you two have any good spells? <laughs> I have healing yeah, spells. <laughs> I have I have two good spells. Wrong way. Okay, cast the good spells, please. Flag. Yeah. And heals him I mean, for uh, seven points of damage. Once he gets close, I'm gonna do the thunderous boom. I mean, we've got to because otherwise. Yeah. Okay, this lose. blood cultist gets up, takes half of his movement to do that. We can't even run away because it's pitch black. We could try and run away because it's pitch black. Let me see what he can see really quick. Actually, I was going to have him move at Flargo, but he doesn't know Flargo's there, so... He's just gonna move forward and and and, uh, and partner up with his guy here, anticipating something's friggin' coming. Is the guy still asleep or not still asleep? He's yeah, he's still asleep. asleep. Okay. He's gonna move up there, so he moves the light or the. Is this guy uh, even uh, barely injured. <sighs> he is asleep still. And we're back to DACA. Okay, well, obviously, I shoot the guy who can heal people because we've all just got to. 
we've all got to kill him. And seeing as they apparently know how where exactly where I am, um, I can just shout. They don't know where you are. They just know. So oh. understand that they under, they know their cave system, right? They've been in here before. Yeah. Yeah. No, right? it's all right. I'll shoot him. And you you shot this guy twice and missed with a third. I'll just shoot him. I don't know if that's the right plan of action, Jim. Well, it's with advantage, Jim. We, with advantage. Okay, good. Nice. Twenty's a crit. Oh, does that work even with disadvantage? <laughs> I'm sorry. I've there's got no disadvantage. disadvantage. Right? Yeah, there no shouldn't disadvantage. have been a disadvantage. It should have been a straight. Okay, so it it only took your first one. Okay. Yeah. yeah oh, that's... you were so if you're in the, yeah. So you rolled an eleven. I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I thought you were shooting the closer one, the one that's no, uh, no, that moved closer. I'm sorry. Right? There's no point shooting him because you can't. We can't hurt him. No, no, that's fine. Yep. So that that misses him. <laughs> yeah. Um. I could try and hit him, but there's no point. Cause I won't do any damage. So yeah. All right. I'll shoot again as well. Then. Same guy. Yep. Okay. You yes. need to read target for the other guy. Oh yeah. Sorry. Yeah. Um. That's okay. So yeah. Target. So that misses him as well. I literally don't know how to target. How do you target? Double right click. Double, Double right click. That's what I did. Right. Yeah. That didn't register still shot the same right, there you go then disaster i mean we are all right dimitri up you're up be us. we can't mm. do anything right so no it's not over it's not over <laughs> i'm gonna shout it's not over and i'm gonna charge oh my god <laughs> oh god <Dimitri. laughs> I'm yeah, charge. With, it, with this okay so in this case because you're in the no, dark usually you would you. get 15 feet of movement dimmy they can't see right? you, Dimmy. They still uh, can't you are, see you. You're right, on, you're right on the edge. So I'm going to rule that you can do your full 30 here with one dexterity check at a regular roll because you can see half of where you're, roll, you're moving. Okay. Thank you, Sensei. <laughs> <laughs> no! D Demetrius! <laughs> All right. So, Demetrius, you move 15 feet forward. <laughs> Right, and then give me an acrobatics check. Oh, let's go! This is what I was born for, guys. Don't worry. This is... Forward roll. There's nothing. Well, no, this is true. So he's yet. hit his foot, hit something. He hit a rock. He hit something. Oh. <laughs> this is what you were born for, Timmy. <laughs> All right, so you fall prone. <laughs> Stumbling out of darkness. Was <laughs> <laughs> the man just falling flat on his face? <laughs> it's bait. I missed the foul bait. No, it's, it's, right, it's quarter past nine. And that's well, the end now. <laughs> since it was an acrobatics check, not an actual, you weren't trying to do something. You were trying to stop yourself totally from falling. So what I would have ruled is if you had made the check, you would have stayed standing, but your turn would have ended. Uh, so you would have recovered. In this case, you weren't able to recover from the fall. So you're prone and on the ground and your turn's over. Please advance. Mr. <laughs> <laughs> Foul oh <laughs> It's quarter past nine, Jack Bull. Say again? It's quarter it's... past nine. Yep, I'm going in. Uh, give, me a couple give me a couple spaces here and then I'm gone. It's good. He just wants to kill us all first. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> he's going to run smash. Okay, Dimmy he's going to take a swing at Dimmy with advantage because Dimmy's on the ground. Hold you not to do this, Timmy. Yeah, it's... <laughs> he's got he's got his he's got his beautiful cultist dagger out, right? That's just our, our it's main just been hacking advantage. apart meat and, and horse flesh and all this other stuff. I, I just want to say that we're never fighting in the dark again. I don't care what you say. You don't like... give up your main advantage, the darkness. You like... run out with you run out with... <laughs> and fell on the ground. Wait, right, Dimmy, you you, you take four points fine. of damage, brother. <laughs> The plan was fine until you did this. <laughs> All right, Fargo Snarp, you're up next. Yeah, I'm gonna Let's shoot go the cult. I'm gonna shoot the cultist with my chromatics, uh, my chromatic orb. Okay, perfect. Well, they might start targeted? waking each other up, and they'll just all try and kill me instead. So you know, this is uh, the genius. one ahead of the one next to Dmitriev is is targeted currently. On your screen, it'll show a guy with like four red arrows on the corners. Yeah, that's the guy. That's the big boss. Okay, you're going to need to move out from around that column a little more for me. 
I just love the fact that a barbarian with an axe just flopped on the floor. Shut <laughs> 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 up. <laughs> All right. Is he yep, so hit your, hit your attack. Normal or advantage? Normal. No, no, no. I'm sorry. Advantage. Advantage. I'm invisible. Advantage. Yeah. yeah, you're in the dark. You're. You're. I'm sorry. Yes, you're coming out of the dark. Four. Whoa. What All right, was a twenty-two. That? So, so hit your damage roll, please. Three D. Oh, four D. Is it? Four D. Uh, yep. no. I'm. I'm. I'm hitting a level one spell. I'm out of level two spells. Oh, shit. So three D eight. So just hit hit the damage. Diced. Normal. Yeah, damage normal. Did it roll? Are you clicking the damage below the attack? I did. It didn't show anything. I'll roll them downstairs. That's fine. <laughs> Which ones? One, two, three. So three D eight. It looks like the um, third one. It's yeah, next to the, the block. There one. you go. Four. Oh, nice! What a dice roller. <laughs> Suck it, fucking cultist, big boss, bun. Oh. <laughs> Man, imagine that hitting me, be dead. Fuck. Okay, boys, uh, moving forward here. So Flargles turns over. Is it? He's still out cold. For if Elliot, you He's can kill him. Cold. You can kill him, Elliot. Yes, let's go. How can okay, we... Elliot's up next. Let's take our first break there, really quick, guys, and I will be back in about ten minutes. Ah, All right. suspense. I know, right? <laughs> Let's take our break there real quick. I've got to run and grab my kid from the gate chat, just so everybody knows. We agreed to do a break here at uh, at 20 after, so I can get that done real quick. I'll be right back. Right, yeah, see, see you a bit. So how come we can see the big boy's health bar? Oh, that's a good point. Yeah, we shouldn't be able to see that, should we? Is that just an error? <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's an error. I'll, just... I'll ah. make that change, boys. I thought it was some kind of special thing. But we can still see he's near death anyway. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. yeah. Still and, and so, how does getting up prone people work? Does that take an action? I mean, uh, he he would have to like depending on where where he is. I assume like he's gonna have to make a dexterity check or something. Like if he he's... could just he could just get up as part of his move. He can just... I'm, oh, I'm done for. Yeah. I'm done for. Just leave me. Save Divi can get himself up, can he? Shoot this <laughs> guy. Hey, not anymore. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Yeah, he's okay. going to be able to pick himself up, yeah. Okay, okay, okay. you just got to shoot this asshole. Have you got any yeah, good spells? Yeah. I mean, if there are three no, cultists only, only around healing his spells. Stomach, I'm a healer, like, Jimmy. Oh, you got any good spells? You need good spells. Dirtle had one. <laughs> yeah, I, I have do. one good spell and then a bunch of shit spells. Which is waiting 15 <laughs> hours for you. A bunch of good spells, but right, like right, I only have one good damage spell. Mm. Yeah, need, Or a single need target damage, spell. Right? Yeah. You know what this the means, don't you guys? Fucking shit. You, you know what this means? I am the most diced man in D&D. &D. Mm. The, yeah. the Warlock cantrip is amazing, uh, you, by the you, way. We were talking about this earlier, uh, how you... How, how like, poor players roll shit dice, uh, and then they claim to be diced. <laughs> you didn't need to get out of darkness, Demi. <laughs> Well, no, because Jimmy was all like, "Oh, we're gonna lose, we're gonna lose." Oh, we was all lost. And I was... You can't, you can't, you can't be affected by Jimmy's negativity like that. You can't. Be, like, I was die. charging in to be the hero that you needed. Well, that didn't make us less likely to lose, did it? Yeah. No, the yeah, hero you made us more likely to lose. I didn't, I didn't need to be the hero you deserved. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> Yeah, Bless right. is really good, isn't it? Bless is a really good one. Yeah. You have to do the GOS. <laughs> do, do you know what I roll on for a melee spell attack? Do you know what, what number I have to roll on for that? No. Okay. No. Um, oh, I'll ask Jack for when he gets back. What do you mean, melee spell? Well, I've got a spell that can make a, 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 a spiritual weapon appear next to somebody and then whack him with it. Oh, so, that's right. nice. Mm, so, but I have to. I don't know what I need to roll to actually hit. Hit. hit or, I mean, I don't have to like yeah, whatever what... your uh, whatever your thing is, like whatever your spells thing is. Like yeah, wisdom or whatever. My wisdom. Okay. Yeah. Well, wisdom's pretty high. Whatever. Yeah. Because like, if, yeah. if you if you if you attack with wisdom, like I think I attack with charisma, right? Um, okay. And you attack with wisdom, and yeah. like um, mages attack or 
not me, wizards attack with um intellect yeah which is um, your highest so it, it must be wisdom because you know you wouldn't have had it the highest if it wasn't yeah <laughs> oh, jack bolt's watching us we should mute and then just talk on discord <laughs> no we shouldn't <laughs> and, yeah flag's highest is charisma and then dimmy's highest is strength right and your yeah. bonus yeah. with charisma well, not not for me right or, or is it because my charisma's dog shit no no <laughs> no your no, no, wisdom no, you, you that's cast why you're with wisdom. It, right Yours is wisdom, yeah. that's why you've got wisdom is your highest stat, because okay, you cast yeah. with wisdom. That's how we can work out what you cast with, because uh, okay. otherwise you wouldn't have had it as your highest stat. So um, Yeah, you you're not gonna specialize in your in your secondary stats. Mm. Um But yeah, like what what's our what's our plan here? Like yeah, I think that that's probably a good thing to do, Sorry. right? Cast Sorry. that weapon. Cast <laughs> that weapon and try to whack the leader. Yeah, Dimmy's Whack decided to go for uh, the plan was to just run forward and die. <laughs> <laughs> it's a bold strategy. <laughs> Let's see if it works out for him. <laughs> I think we're fine, really, though, right? Like we've we've never actually been so. tested. Like we've never ever come anywhere close to death. Right? Like this would be a bit tough than the other fights, but like the rats and the bears, the boars, we were taking hits. But it's like I can just heal you back up again anyway, right? So. It's... Yeah, it was more that that guy like just healed seven and like, do you know what I mean? I'm hitting, I'm hitting with disadvantage. Dimmy was was like, you know, has only got one cock left. Yeah, but but <laughs> then once they come, like cl- one damage, you did two damage. Do you know what I mean? It was like it's, it was yeah, pretty grim, true. wasn't it? And then he healed seven, so it's like, oh fuck. <laughs> but then once they come closer, we hit them. You you don't you don't disadvantage anymore, right? And. Mm. Uh... And, and so it should be alright, I think. Why, did, why Except... didn't you invite Rick on, Jimmy? <laughs> <laughs> We'd be in a lot better situation right now. <laughs> no, no, no. Rick, Rick, Rick would have run further ahead than anybody. <laughs> yeah, but he would roll natural 20s. True, yeah, true, true. true. Just... What's, what's the spell that you've got there, uh, Eliod? Spiritual weapon. Spiritual weapon. Mm. I make a, a spiritual cogwheel appear out of the air and start knobbing people on the head. Nice. Is is it a, is it as is it a spiritual weapon or is it a dick slap? <laughs> I don't understand the reference. <laughs> you don't like all of your emotes. Yes. You mean the pickle, the, the, the club, and the squirrel's arm? The squirrel's yes. arm? Yeah, the squirrel's arm. The squirrel's arm, people. The You've got two emotes of a squirrel penis. The evolution, the evolution of the dick slapping <laughs> is so good. <laughs> First you get just the dick popping up, and then it actually hits you in the face, and then it hits you in the face repeatedly. <laughs> mm, it's true. Oh, it's so brilliant. <laughs> <laughs> And squirrel leaving his cock is great. <laughs> so these cultists have different weapons, right? Two, like the because the pictures are different, right? Two have daggers and I mean, the rest have the, swords. The, the, mm. We we don't know like if they if these are actually the weapons they carry, oh, okay, okay. Um, or if these are just like avatars. Oh, okay, um, JB would have to tell us when he when he's back. Oh, it's a bonus action that. Can you cast two spells in one turn? No, the bonus action is so, so I, I I think I can I might be able to hit with it twice in one turn. The the action is to cast the spell and then the bonus action is to do another whack with it. Uh, cuz the casting time is one bonus action so Oh, right. But if you can if you can bonus to get another one that's brilliant, isn't it? One bonus. Oh, no, I think I think it, the one bonus action refers to the spell has an attached bonus action, maybe. No, yeah, it's a bonus action. Yeah, so you can you can cast it with your main action. Yeah, and then use make the bonus an action attack and hopefully kill him. Hmm. And then if you don't, then you can uh, then you can get him again as well. Plus your, yeah, plus your spell casting ability modifier. What's that like two or something? Uh. If you like look on your sheet, you'll have like whatever your wisdom is, like your wisdom modifier. Yeah, three. Three, so there you go, so you'll do D8 plus three. Mm. 
way better than the fucking shitty spells that you've got. <laughs> mm. I can only cast this twice, though. I did one mm. out of a max 24 damage to him. That's insane. Mm. But like, that's... that's sick, isn't it? Because that's like going to do like, what, four and a half, like seven and a half, 15 damage. On average, yeah. Of them. Yeah, if you hit with both of them, like 15 damage, like, that's way better than like four. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. or like three and a half or four and a half. Yeah, the, like, the damage output going from cantrip to first level spell is insane. How, how mm. long does a turn last? Uh, ten seconds. What do you mean? Ten seconds. Cause it, it it says it lasts one minute, so I guess I can keep whacking with it. Does that mean I don't know? Yeah, yeah, you can just whack with it as a as a mm. bonus action every turn. Yeah, yeah. whack a mole. <laughs> yeah, that's sick, isn't it? Mm. It's not concentration either, is it? So no, you just... no. Should have done that before the sacred flame. Well, you should have done the bless first, but obviously yeah, that like didn't work out right. Yeah, we if couldn't you, do that. In the, like in we the heard dark. the chance stop, didn't we? So we kind of like lost the chance for that in a way. But yeah, it could have blessed us first, and then the, and then, then, we then you'd be blessed forward. for the spiritual yeah. weapon, right? So that would make your spiritual weapon better as well because you'd, be, you'd be blessed. Well, well, I only I only bless three. So I'm sorry, I guess I could bless not 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 Daedal. Not Daedal because you, know I mean, you could you could still bless me like even, but it, that would like make me better with my crossbow, right? Mm. Um, which yeah. I might need to use. Um, yeah. Or like Fury of the Small, like that spiritual weapon is brilliant. Spiritual weapon is brilliant, so I definitely want to be blessed for that to like wreck shit. Like that is really good. But it gets Four, level two. How, how many level two slots do you get? Two. Two. Goblins are the best. <laughs> so yeah, that's Four a pretty. Okay. That's a pretty. But actually, works are pretty cool. I had like a fog spell as well uh, that I swapped out uh, before we started the campaign because I felt like. Mm sleep and the fog did too much of the same thing but <clears throat> that would be pretty good still um like to have both um yes, cousin, turn them all to sleep before they just ransack dimmy here like three on one or four on one. <laughs> i mean <laughs> i need to say it again but He's bringing it up on himself. He did bring like, it on himself a little bit, yeah. Yeah, I brought it on myself by opting to go into a battle completely pitch black when everything I rely you upon... You didn't need to! You still had one I'm of your like, Hancocks! I'm, I'm the only one of the four of us that can actually fight and uh yeah, but you don't says the guy laying on the floor we spent if we had light i wouldn't be laying on the floor but just the quietly tactic was tactic that if we had light i would be lying on the floor you instantly disregard the plan <laughs> yeah because the plan was stupid so the plan is great way. it's the plan that i've used in every game of warhammer and every game of 40k that i've ever yeah. played it's and suck so my good. dick suck my dick punch on the nose and it works every time. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I must have missed the suck my dick part. <laughs> yeah. Because you, you're encouraged, like you have superior ranged than your opponent, and then they have to come towards yeah. you. And then when they come towards yeah. you, you can't. All right, attack. gentlemen. So that was Dimmy's role. Yeah. Was the like, you know, three people shooting. They come to get the people shooting them, and then Dimmy's like, surprise, and hammers them. Yeah, yeah. And then Dimmy's like, I can't wait for that. <laughs> I want to punch now. <laughs> and surprise, that didn't work out. <laughs> uh, all right, so. Okay, Elliot, you, my, you are up, my friend. Uh huh. I'm going to cast Spiritual Weapon. Nice. Um, I don't know how to mark it. Hang on. Where are you casting it? Give me a ping. Yeah, how do I? Where's the pings? How um, do I double ping? or just hold down left click. Ah, that's it. Of course, there, there, there we go. In between these two cultists. Oh, oh sweet! Oh, nice! Holy there's shit! There's your spiritual weapon, brother. <laughs> oh, it's a dick slapping around. It's a dick slapping <laughs> uh, squirrel, baby. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Slap that horse <laughs> and the cultist. All right, so when you cast this spell, you can make a melee spell attack against a creature within five feet of the weapon. 
So I'm going to attack the big boy. Okay, so you see where it says attack? You just hit the attack. Uh -huh. Normal. Oh, fuck. Okay, so the, the, the spiritual weapon, the, the, it, it appears... <laughs> The squirrel penis. The it's a, um, it's a cog. <laughs> the the it's cog. A, a giant. No, I know. Cog. I'm just joking. Not, not penis like at all. <laughs> <laughs> it, it, bonk, it tries to bonk you on the head, but but misses. <laughs> <laughs> so the cog appears, and I'll see if I can find something that looks kind of like a cog or something. I was waiting for you to cast this because oh, I have the, several different. The, the sword is fine for in-game purposes. <laughs> yeah, um, so the cog appears. The cog starts spinning like a top, right? It, it's like a boomerang, right? And it, or no, better yet, it's like from, what is it, Tron? The light discs? And it's, oh. it's spinning and it comes in and tries to take a, take a swing at it or take the chip out of the guy. But when it appears, it startles him. So he's able to dodge and move out of the way on that one. So, Elliot, now, since that is on the field, mm -hmm. um, for your bonus action... Yeah. You may now utilize that. So if you read that spell while you're out of your turn and you can see that you can move it so many feet, things like that. That's yeah. all part of a – that is now your bonus action. So and then I, that's on top of any um, spells or other attacks you may do. And I can use that bonus action on the first turn that I deploy it. Or Yeah, or, you just did. Yep. Yeah. So you're, right now your action was to cast. Yeah. Bonus action was to strike with. Now you're allowed to oh. move if you so choose. Oh, wait, but – it says when you cast the spell, you can make a melee spell attack. So is the bonus action attack not a separate one to that? It says you can move yeah, the weapon. You know what? Let's 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 do it as it's written. So yeah, you would technically yeah. So your first cast of that then would be the first attack, and now you may attack again if you want. Yeah, that was my reading of let's, it. Let's but... let's oh, just oh. do it as written. Okay. Glory. So I I'd like make another attack against the. I'm not going to move it. I'll attack the same guy. Um, Brilliant. Itty Malliard. Yes! Ooh. Okay, that I'm one does dead. hit. So roll for your damage there. Kill him, Dad. Oh, fuck. <laughs> no! Get him? No, get him? please. Please die. Please die. Vip! Yes! And this, yes. This, <laughs> so for a split second, this cog <laughs> just comes right in, right? And just strikes him dead center of his chest. And you see him fall backwards, and then the cog, uh, uh, similar to uh, what, what was that movie with the glaive, with the uh, where it's in the in the demon's chest, and he, he's trying to pull it out with his hand, and then the glaive finally releases. Um, so now the cog is is pulled out and is sitting next to the other blood fanatic there. Nice. That's and um... so Elliot has struck down. <laughs> so once again, I think you know Daka's plan of letting the uh, goblin in the. And the gnome handle this is is, is slowly coming to fruition. Mm. Not terrible. Okay, I'll just Elliot stay put. people with his card. <laughs> uh, uh, Jim, we got a raid there, brother. Oh. Glorious. Hello. Thank you very much, Vo. Vo oh God, Voivod Kohutek. <laughs> yep, that's that's a big name. Yeah. Thank, <laughs> thank you, you for that raid. Much. Welcome, raid. Voivod is a uh, is a. Uh title in Romania. Oh, nice. Okay, so this blood cultist... The leader. Now, there is a difference between the blood cultist and the blood fanatics, boys. One this shot. one is pulling out... <laughs> oh, dear. He's got his scimitar. He's going to strike down on Dimi with advantage, because Dimi's still prone. <laughs> Dimitriov is prone. Oh, dear. Ooh. 15, does that hit Dimitrov? Oh, no, 16. Okay, so you're definitely able to uh, either roll or dodge or maybe you kick away his uh, his wrist as he as he's coming down with the attack. Nice. <laughs> Glorious. Thank you very much. One high Zergling. Welcome to Team Fantastic. Oh, yeah. And also glorious name. <laughs> yeah, pretty glorious. <laughs> okay, um this guy seeing that the great cog of the of the chief engineer has just struck yeah. down is gonna take off and move towards his buddies, which will incur an attack of opportunity via the cog. Oh glorious. Yes. 
Nice. So he will get there if you, for some reason, don't happen to kill him. So go ahead and um, take your attack with the cog. Uh, how do I do that? You should have... Under your effects, I think. Yes. So go to your effects. On the left hand, you'll see spiritual weapon template. Left click that, and then that will be your your um, your attack and damage rolls. Oh, I can see now. Uh, I'm clicking it. Uh, nothing is happening. It's not working. No. Oh, it should have been in there. Okay, so hold on. You would just, can you cycle up to where it says spiritual, uh, oh, it won't let you do it there either. Yeah, right? no, yeah. It should have. I mean, you could just do like a wisdom roll, right? And then that would be. Well, it's not, it's got, it's got different bonuses to it. So let's see. Oh, it's bit plus two, plus two. So I could just do a D20 plus 2 plus 2. There you go. Do that. Just roll a D20 plus 2 plus 2, and I'll adjust that for the next time. Ah, uh, just wait one second. Ooh. I've got the sleepy one. This has worked out all right at the end of the day. Yeah. Because yeah. the other one's asleep, and then... So far, it's worked out okay. Yeah, and then Dmitriev can just stand up right for free, even though there's somebody hacking at him. Yeah, he can stand up. Going. It'll cost him half his movement, but he's not going to move away anyway. Mm. So it's fine. Sorry about that. Uh, D20. Fifteen. That does he has hit. Yeah, a HDK. So it's 1d8 plus your spellcasting modifier. So roll a 1d8. Uh, plus two. And your modifier oh. is... Hmm. What? Why is it Why is it plus two? A plus five. What? Uh, on, on the last spiritual weapon attack I did, it was 1d8 plus two. I'll have to look at it. Okay. It might not be calculating something from your. Oh. So there's your one d eight, and then it's plus five because of your spellcasting ability. So thirteen points of damage. Comedy mega. Wrecked him, right in the rectum, the glorious <laughs> cog. Uh, sorry, so, should, 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 should it not be? It's, right, right up there. It's plus five for saves, right? Isn't it plus three for the attack? So according to the spell, right, it says plus your spellcasting ability modifier. Yeah. But isn't it isn't it fat is it Where, What is your spellcasting? I thought your spellcasting ability modifier was Oh I'm sorry, plus three. I was looking at yeah. the save. I apologize. Yeah, exactly. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. Mm. Only eleven. Only What's eleven. That's a lot. Disgusting. Though. Yeah, that's friggin' good. Yeah, that's that's what happens when you start rolling for damage and it actually rolls for damage you know <laughs> yeah when, when we start rolling one so yeah, yeah. Yep. okay so this blood cultist is still knocked out daka you're up daka daka right if i move here, here we go again this will be a, a clean shot right versus this guy which uh the you want the one in back with the torch or which one do you want the closest one the closest one that's a clean shot yeah 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 yeah, I'll go and it's range. a it's a regular attack because you're inside of his field of vision now. Yep. Roll for damage. Four. Did you hit him? Yeah. Oh yes, so many fucking plus modifiers. Um, and I'll 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 use a thing there on him. Give me a second. I'll use a thing. Do you have things left? Yep, I've got one thing left. Chip him. Yeah, I'm gonna trip him. <laughs> oh, you <can> trip him! <laughs> Elliot and the and the trips. <laughs> yeah, keep uh, Elliot oh. is a uh... geist. What? What exactly? Oh, so you were using a trip attack? Yep. So it's a strength saving throw. 
Okay, well, congratulations. You tripped him into death. Yes. <laughs> Get out of it. So, you, so you, you, went, you went for the leg for the trip. <laughs> you actually hit him in the artery. You open that sucker up. Blood starts pouring down his leg, and he falls over dead almost instantly. <laughs> Glorious. Oh, nice. Glorious. Nice. Okay, I'm and third. then you have your now you have your 30 feet of movement if you want it. Yep. So I I'm, I'm within 30 of the other guy. So I'll just I'll just stay where I am and uh, shoot the other guy with a bonus action. Pew pew. Which one? The one behind or you Okay, I'm sorry. This I didn't one, see yeah. your target there. Go ahead. Yeah, yeah, cuz it's still still un unobstructed, right? I don't want to hit Dimra. Oh yeah, no no, you're fine. Yeah, <laughs> you're good. I do not want to hit Dimmy. Why not? <laughs> Beautiful roll for damage. Seven. Not bad. Okay, end your combat turn there. And then, uh, Dimitriov, you're up, brother. Right, hey, he's my, not dead. I, I'm roll He will be dead. He will be in a minute. A little bit louder, Dimitriov. Hello? Hello. There you are. <laughs> right. Hello. I am going to roll back onto my shoulders and flip up onto my feet. Ready my axe, and I'm going to take a swing at this guy closest to me. Uh, okay, make one. sure you target him. Thank you. Now there go you ahead go. and roll. And I'm going to decapitate this mother foe uh, with my main weapon. So, the great axe. Uh, here we go. Normal. Bad oh, hits and roll for damage. And we're going to, as I say, take his head clean off his shoulders. <laughs> okay, so you strike him. It, it nails him right in his friggin' shoulder or his midriff, wherever, right? That I mean, you just, as you get up, you use that momentum from rising up a soft spin and just bring that axe, just hefting it right into his friggin' side, right? And that sucker's just lodged in there. And then you use your natural woodsman's ability from chopping trees to just... You, you you shift that axe forward and pull it right out of him in one swift motion. Oh, in the chat of war cry as his blood splatters over my face. <laughs> and, and then I'm going to whip out my Hancock. Is he not dead, by the way? He is not, not dead. <laughs> he's not dead. Oh, my God. No, he took a nice axe hit right to the chest, though. I mean, he's he ain't doing so hot, brother. <laughs> right, so I am going to chuck my bonus action and uh, whip out my last Hancock. And like from point blank range, just bury it in his skull. Okay, so this is a disadvantage because you're within five feet. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so Hancock. So for anybody in chat who doesn't know, Dimmy carries a special weapon that I allowed him to make called a Hancock. That is a bonus action for him to whip out and throw. This is part of his character's backstory. It's basically a, 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 a hatchet, a tomahawk, if you will. <laughs> uh, with disadvantage, you say? With disadvantage, yes, because you are within five feet of somebody using a ranged weapon. Right, and I'm burying it in his skull. Okay, well, you buried it in him. I'm not going to tell you it's a skull yet, but you buried it in him. <laughs> okay, and as fast as you... so. As fast as you yank that axe out, right, you spin around again using your other hand to pull the uh, the other handcock free, and you just flick it into him at, at just like point blank range, right? And this thing is just sitting right in his exactly. It's just right in his. Maybe it's on the opposite side of his chest from where the first axe blow hit. This guy's in a bad friggin' way right now. He's still alive! Oh my He's god! Alive. This bastard! <laughs> Did you want to oh, try no. to retrieve it, Dimmy? Uh, yes, yeah, I'm gonna. All right, DC that. 12 dexterity check for me, and then go and advance your combat, please. Oh yeah, you oh. whipped that out. It's 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 brilliant. I mean, it's just yeah, it's it's a thing of beauty. Even even Daka appreciates how pretty this is because he's he's now seen you utilize this weapon with what is it now three perfect twenties to retrieve three your weapon twenties. over the last two seconds. On the retrieval, never on the attack. <laughs> never on the retrieval. attack, exactly. So you rolled a you rolled a one on one retrieval and snapped one. Wow. Oh, that's yeah. right. Yeah, but three out he's three you out of four or something like that, right? <laughs> three out of four is pretty yeah. good. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so the one who is uh, just who you bring just you back a notch. <laughs> I'm burning all my twenties on like Yeah, the one the one that that, that um, stabbed at you and, and you were able to definitely hit him away with your foot. 
and now you've buried an axe into both uh, an axe on one side and a hatchet in the other. He's he's really he's he's dreading life right now. He's but he's coming at you with that dagger because he knows he's going down. Oh. Yeah, that obviously hits. And he gets you for four points of damage. All right, Flargo Snarp, you are up, sir. Um, when does the spell end for the sleep? Like, is there? It's oh no, it says forty-eight seconds left. So a there turn was ten seconds, was it? Yeah. So we got uh, four six turns. Six seconds. Left. Six oh, seconds six is seconds. each round, combat round. Oh, yeah, all right. Yeah, it's ten, yeah, so we, yeah, ten yeah, we got plenty of uh, time. Yeah, all right. Mm. So we got eight turns until they wake up on their own. Cool. So um, if that's the case, I'm going to sneak up um, behind this guy because he's focusing on Demi and uh, Jimmy, right? It's gonna, I'm going to sneak so up. When you used your um, your chromatic orb, you came out of hidden status. What? When you make an attack, you come out of hiding. No. Yeah. All right. I'm just going to whip out my daggers and charge the shit out of this guy then. <laughs> All right. Now we're seeing a goblin in action. All right. So your dagger comes out. No daggers, plural. Uh, one one dagger because you are not specialized in multi weapon usage. You you what? you're not. Uh, yeah, you you got one. You can pull one dagger out for attacking. You do own uh, two. I <laughs> own two. Why can't I use both? Well, you should have practiced that. You know, you're like, come on, man. Get the because you That's because right. you can't be John Rambo there, Dadel. Right? You can't right. have every activity in the book. How the hell do you I think spent... I'm surviving on my own as a goblin on the streets? Okay, how about, how about this? I'll, I'll let you years. use both, but then they both do half damage. How does that sound? Years <laughs> whipping my Hancocks about. Like you don't even know what a dagger is, mate. All right, so you're whipping out your dagger, and are you charging in? If I if they don't do actual damage, then I might as well. Can I pull out my crossbow and shoot him in the face? Whoa! I'm like how bad am I at that? I've got yeah, I'll allow dead. that because that would be so you would have an action. Uh, you're switching, you don't have your crossbow. Usually, it's an action to pull out your crossbow before making it because an attack is considered an action. So, you're switching equipment, which is actually your, your not your move. You're still allowed to move, but if your action is to take out your crossbow, that's your action for the turn. No, uh, then I'm whipping out both daggers and doing half damage with each and uh. Okay. <laughs> Stabbing the shit out of him. I'm gonna go for his legs. Like, okay, you're going in like a like a sushi chef, when right? He, when he falls down, yeah. And when he falls down, I'm gonna start stabbing him in the chest. <laughs> All right, move up. This is like gremlins. <laughs> Seriously. Why is he not moving? You gotta drag him. I did drag him, like. 400 times. 401 is the charm. There you go. I moved you. Uh, you had the measuring stick out. Sorry, my bad. Yes, you had the measuring <laughs> stick out. <laughs> All right, make sure All you right. target, please. Is he targeted now? Like, he this is, is yes, worse sir. than Bubble yeah, 3, and green. I haven't no, played Bubble 3. Green. I have to, like, press it. 400 times. Two it's is fine. two, mate. Right -click. It's, but it's just a bit weird right-clicking it, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, all right. Um, so, inventory. <laughs> Say again? Dagger. Inventory, dagger, attack. Good attack. Normal. Is it? Huh? Normal attack, right? Yes. Okay, so that misses. Second one. What the? Uh-oh. Four. Okay, that one hits. Roll oh, for damage. Oh. And remember, it's half damage. <laughs> <laughs> Just to appease our good man, Dadel, here and get the combat rolling. Okay, you do two points of damage. So, and then I'm using the Fury of the Small. Okay. 
So that allows nice you to ability. disengage. No. You're oh, the sorry, small. Fury of the when small, you I apologize. A creature, yes. With an attack or a spell, and the creature's size is larger than yours, you can use the attack. You can cause uh, no, no. the attack or spell to deal extra damage to a creature. The extra yeah, damage I'm sorry. I thought you were. Level. Yes, Fury of the Small. So you add three more points of damage. Yeah. Four. Is All that right, not forward, half, please? Oh, can, sorry, sorry, can I get a rules check and can we <laughs> half that damage, please? No, that's not half damage. No, no. no. <laughs> I can't get a rules check. <laughs> All right, uh, he's still asleep. He's still asleep. Fucking alive. Elliot, you were up, my friend. I move up behind Dimitriov. Uh, cast. Um... Wait, aren't you using your weapon, Elliot? I've got a mace, yeah. Yeah, he's got a no, mace no, in no. one hand. The, he's the, the, the other. That's the, bonus. The, that's bonus. That's bonus. Oh yeah, that's okay. bonus action. Yeah, yeah. Oh, all right. Yeah, the yeah. weapon. His spiritual weapon is a bonus action. Cast cure wounds at level one. I take Dimitriov firmly by the wrist, allowing my life force to flow into his body. And do. Oh fuck me. <laughs> <laughs> Two six points of healing. <laughs> Rip Dimmy. Um, yeah, that's I, pretty good. Uh, yeah, Dimmy's Dimmy's barely injured anyway. And then I move my mm. stick over here as my bonus action. <laughs> move your Please. stick. Yeah, my cog, my cog wheel. All right, twenty feet. Yeah, you just delete that, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Man, this cog is brilliant. Shoot him, Timmy. Shoot him. Okay, Not so yet. this this blood fanatic now um, with a target sitting in front of him <laughs> is going to swing at Daedal. Yeah, at a disadvantage because I'm half his size. <laughs> where, where do you find this stuff? <laughs> here. <laughs> right here. <laughs> I'm dexterous as fuck. Fucking rule, rules, Just... <laughs> rules, goblin. <laughs> no, none of the rules. Okay, and he misses. <laughs> this cult is still asleep. Daka, you're up. Glorious. Okay, right. so Daka, so you you have clear line of sight to the two on the left where you're standing. The yeah. one, if you just move five feet to your left, you would have clear on all three if you wanted. I'm sorry, the two who were standing. Yeah, so I can go there and I've got clear against both. Yeah, and that would be, you would be clear of shooting um, um, Dimitri out there. Oh, yeah, shoot course. the one in front of Daedal. Yeah, I'll I shoot the one in front of Daedal first. Yeah, that's over Daedal, so that's not going to, unless you roll a one, you won't have to roll to see if you hit him. Okay, good. I, I won't roll a one. <laughs> no, I know you up. won't. Trust me. Trust me, Daedal. Instant one. <laughs> Trust me. Oh, oh no. good. You, hit the, you hit the dead one because you left it targeted. Good shot, Jim. <laughs> no, no, I'm targeting. I've left it targeting uh, the one next to Dimmy, in fact. <laughs> no, you're good. Roll for damage. Just go. make sure you're moving your target over. Thank you. Roll for damage. I know what you were saying, brother. <laughs> Four. Eight damages. Oh, he's dead, Jim. Oh, near death. What? Um, oh. I guess I guess I'll just shoot him again then, eh? Yeah, I'm going next anyway, Jim. So I'm gonna finish this full. Yeah, yeah. So, I'll, <laughs> so yeah, so that's five five foot in it, and then I'll uh, I can move a little bit closer as well. There's no reason not to, I guess. Yeah, you can definitely. So remember, you've got thirty total movement. Yeah, and then I'll whack him again. Just walking slowly, reloading. <laughs> yeah, walking slowly, <laughs> just carrying down with his hand crossbow. <laughs> <laughs> Glorious. All right, roll for damage. Oh, wrecked him. He's got to be dead. Yep, he slumps Lovely. over dead with two more shots, right? Whoa. One takes him right between the friggin' eyes, the last one, right? Like, the total dirty hairy move. Do you feel lucky, <laughs> punk? And just <laughs> just unleashes the second crossbow bolt right into his, uh, right into his uh, uh, forehead there. Can I use some bonus yeah. action to kick him as he's falling down? <laughs> Daedal has so many actions, it's ridiculous. <laughs> All right, go ahead and cycle forward. Dimitriov, you're up, brother. 
Right, I'm gonna grab him by the throat out of the embarrassment that I suffered of falling over in front of all these guys and the rage is building within me. I'm gonna grab him by the throat, I'm gonna squeeze so hard that his eyes start to pop out of his head and although it's a two-handed weapon because I'm an expert with the axe I'm gonna bring it straight down onto his skull. Okay, you're gonna do all of that without grabbing him because you don't want to have to roll a grappling check. <laughs> I'll, I'll roll the grappling check. Okay, you roll the let grappling me, check. Let me, okay. let me do it. I'll roll that grappling check. I, I, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to allow this. We'll make this... We'll make it strength versus... Oh, you, you can use either strength or dexterity. I want to use strength. I want to use strength. Yeah, whichever I... one's higher. He'll use his dexterity. Whoever rolls higher gets it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. <laughs> you don't want to do this. I'll do it. <laughs> Oh, yes. oh, you got it. Not only do you I have him won. by the throat, dude, the fear of God or the fear of whatever he's worshipping is in this man's eyes right now. So go ahead and take your swing. As I bring the axe down, I say, No Valhalla for you! <laughs> and I bring my axe down with furious anger. <laughs> Is that Big Kahuna Burger? That is Big Kahuna Burger. Oh, so we needed this. All right, roll for damage. Oh, oh, God damn it. Oh, the bloodlust is in me. <laughs> and I, as, as I cleave his skull, I lift him off the ground and I rub his blood on my face and I'm like, whoa. <laughs> Hey, Elliot, who are the cultists here? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Can we now encircle the guy that is still sleeping, closest us, yeah, put yeah. Lay him down, and then just execute him? Yes. Well, yeah. we've not got long, mate. Right? We've only got a few seconds until he wakes up. No, we got okay, like so, um, no, did, you don't, you have, how much How much time is left on the skull? Hold, hold on, hold on, hold on. I would like to point out that I also have a bonus action. Um, <laughs> yes. And movement, and movement, so you can run straight uh, over to him. Anyway. So I can move and bonus action, right? Yes, you so, may. Yes, you may. All right, so I am gonna move uh, next to the uninjured guy. Fifteen foot. Oh, I've still got this poxy sent me a ruler. Here we go. But wait, wait, before but, before you burn bonus action, can we just like? Ask a question to Mr. Yeah, oh, no, 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 I'm not. I'm not going to kill this guy. I'm going to kill the other guy, and then we're going to take this guy hostage, right? Is that not the normal? Oh, thing? yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah that's what. I, that's what I thought. Like we, we, yeah, yeah, yeah. and take the but last you, guy hostage. Like the reason it's... you keep one alive is so that yeah. he can tell tales. No, no, so we can get an emotion from him. It's a great idea. No, no, no. So we can tell tales. So we can the glorious. He can spread yeah. the glorious. Uh, you always keep he, he one can alive. Sing songs of Dimitri or Dimitri out. Oh, yes. how, how long's left on the spell? Forty-two <laughs> seconds. So we got right, six low. turns left. Yeah, yeah and, it, and that's time. forty-two. Remember, it's a Flargle's right. turn as well. Mm. So okay, it won't sit down let me, again I'm, until Flargle comes up. I'm attacking the one that's further away. No, no, no but wait, wait, wake him up, wait, Dimmy, you'll wake him up. Wait, yeah, we no, don't. Yeah. No, we care because we can just circle him around and like we don't even have to we shouldn't even that's this is what I want to ask Jack Bull. Like no, do we even I'm have attacking to make him? I'm attacking no, no. him. Oh, damn it. I'm attacking He's him. Attacking him. <laughs> I'm in the middle of my bloodlust. I've just sprayed worst, the blood of my friend right now. A crumb across my would, face. Would, would, we be, would we be able to without like using actions just like execute him if he if Dimmy didn't wake him up? I've already yeah, rolled the attack no. roll. He's I've already, already rolled. rolled the attack roll. Like, He's that's it. Rolled. I am throwing that haymaker Hancock <laughs> straight at his skull. <laughs> and, I'm, and I'm screaming Freedom <laughs> <laughs> Don't scream. Jesus Christ. <laughs> <laughs> I, I Roll think for I damage, hit. I, I, I hit, yeah. Oh, <laughs> oh my god. Big, <laughs> big damage. Big damage. Yeah. This is the reason, Dimmy, that I didn't want to do this, but I instead so. execute them without when, actually rolling 
I, 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 mate, I, I didn't want to fall on my ass in front of seven cultists, but you know, <laughs> things happen in the when, the, when the when the Hancock hits him in the side and roll your dexterity to retrieve, when the Hancock hits him in the side, it does strike deep and it wakes him up. He's like he's instantly like, Oh shit, right? And he's he's holding on to his side right below where the wound was. And you're not so his hand covers in the snap, he covers it. You're not able to retrieve it. Remember, because it's a twelve. His hand covers the handcock where the wound was, and he's and he's and he's awakened from his slumber. One All right, Florida Snarf, you're That's up, brother. <laughs> All right. Asking you this question now. Yes. This guy next to Dimmy, he's still asleep, right? Can we oh, execute next to Dimmy, him? Yes. We don't execute Can this we... guy. We we manacle this guy. No, the last guy we manacle. The guy why next would... to Dimmy we manacle. We no, why wouldn't we? Guy. Why this wouldn't we the take the guy? The guy in the deep. No, the guy in the far deep end of the cave is the last guy. No. So, Coven, his his Hancock I is a bonus action, Coven. There's one more guy. Oh, There's one more. God. You can't I, see I this guy. I didn't know there, there was three a guy there. Right. There are three guys left. There are three guys left. Right, we can't see him. Why didn't yeah. you say that right. earlier? Well, are we actually allowed to discuss these things, though? Uh, can you? Count you, you guys don't listen to Florida Snarf. <laughs> have you have you counted seven dead guys here in your field of vision? Uh, I count four. Dead you can guys. see six. You can see six guys. Yeah. All right, yeah. Florida Snarf. So you're actually can't can't see. Well, just tell us there's a guy we can't see. I mean, we've we've yeah. got Dimmy going rogue, you know. So who knows yeah. what's happening? <laughs> I know what's happening. <laughs> all right, Data, what are you doing? <laughs> Can we? The, all right. The guy next to Dimmy, do we actually have to use spells and actions to kill him if he's still asleep and we're encircling him? Or can okay. we just execute him in his sleep? So that, yes. you may. He is unconscious. You may walk up and slip, slip your little... A dagger at the base of his skull and scramble his brains around from behind. That's that's very simple. All right. Um, Thank you. So hold on we now. Now, take care just, of the guy just wait a that, second. I uh, want to point something out. There's a difference between killing somebody in combat and executing them in front of a priest. Yeah. I just want to put that out there, okay? Yeah, I'm, I've got no problem with that. Uh, I'm sure you don't. <laughs> yeah. Now, Which that's also... Now, <laughs> now, hold, hold on. Let me also explain something to you there, Dato. Yeah. This is an exceptionally, we'll call it an evil act, right? You are killing a helpless person, an unarmed person, right? No. Now, he's, so hold if on. he wakes up, he's... Hold on. Yeah, all right. Hold on. <laughs> yeah, hold on. Yeah. <laughs> um, you, may, you may do this. I'm not going to stop you from doing this. I just want to yeah. let you know... That if there are if there are beings watching and something of an exceptionally evil act occurs, or if there are beings watching and something of an exceptionally sacrificial action occurs, that can cause a reaction by those not of this world. I'm just gonna let remember you're playing D and D, right? <laughs> So this isn't like you're walking up in some alleyway in London and you're shanking some guy, right? It, it, you know, this <laughs> this is a this is a world where karma, not necessarily karma, but there are in, there there are things that can happen. We'll just say that. Yeah. All right. So just letting you know that. Gonna, yeah, and then, yeah. We're, we're gonna get to the rules lawyering. Uh, it's not rules lawyering. I'm just letting you know. <laughs> no, just be aware that your actions lawyer. have have a reaction. <laughs> rules lawyer. <laughs> Because like this like guy, when he wakes up, happened in London. <laughs> <laughs> when he wakes up, he's no longer defenseless. Cult. He's he's when as soon as he wakes up, he's gonna want to kill me. You don't know that. So it's yes, I do. He's We've seen that to, from yeah. from, I mean, from we, can, his, we can we can disarm from the actions. Right? You from the actions of his I'm um, gonna I'm gonna slit his throat. All right, we're gonna have to kill the guy you're, that, you're that complaining about Dim or Dimitriov and him being Tren. <laughs> <laughs> I'd kill him instantly. <laughs> I can't wait. I actually can't wait. <laughs> okay, so what are you doing? Let's see. Let's see what you're doing here. Um. All right, we're gonna have to kill the guy that Demi woke up. Um. So, I've got another chromatic orb in me. Uh. So I'm gonna cast that. Okay. 
better hope there's no more enemies if you cast that. Because <laughs> <laughs> then no, I've got, I've, 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 no, I've got I've got three three actually. So it's like there's definitely uh, chance to do this. Uh, damage. You must be rolling attack before rolling damage. What? You hit damage. You gotta attack first. You gotta hit first, right? Why does it say disadvantage? Because if there is a disadvantage for using this, which you're not suffering right now, you would hit that. So it just has the option there for if I tell you this will be done at disadvantage. What do I got to do now then? You roll damage. You must roll the attack before yeah, rolling gotta, the damage. You got to roll the hit first, yeah. Oh, if it's it, I'm sorry, it's probably because I'm, I apologize. It's probably because of your range. No, that should be ninety Pro feet. Do you have feet. the right one targeted? Is he prone, yeah. that guy? Still, no. Yeah, he's prone. Disadvantage if they're prone. Yeah, but that's it? but Dadel's not. If he's prone, it would actually be at advantage. No, no, it's disadvantage. Just roll a d twenty. Range. Roll a d twenty. Range is disadvantage if they're prone. Isn't it? Oh, there you go. Thank you, Jim. Jesus. Mm. Yeah, because he's prone, you're at disadvantage to hit him. Yes. With my poison spell. Yeah. With your chromatic orb. You're hurling a yeah, ball at him. <laughs> and it's hard to hit because he's lying down. <laughs> yeah. We know I can't fucking hit a spell. <laughs> okay, so you do miss. So the chromatic orb flies over him because he's he's laying on the ground. He's like a foot tall, right? Thanks, Timmy. <laughs> 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 All right, uh, move forward. Okay, that blood cultist is still asleep. Okay, this blood cultist rises, pulls out his weapon and moves towards um, Dimitriov and is going to swing at him. I'm sorry, Demi. I, I would have walked up to him if I know that if I knew that I it was better to just walk up to him and stab him. <laughs> oh, rolls a natural one. Okay, so oh, as he's, he as he's he, so he's 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 still kind of grabbing at this wound, right? The from the mm -hmm. Hancock that's in him. And in fact he's kind of holding it because it's 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 extremely painful. Pulls out a scimitar with his right hand, and as he's moving forward. He takes a, we'll just say he takes a slip in this pool of blood, right? And he falls on the ground, dropping his weapon. Mm. Elliot, you're up. I move up behind Dmitriov, surrounding the downed sleeping cultist. <laughs> I cast Sacred Flame. On the uh, the injured colleagues who just uh, did the comedy slapstick uh, <laughs> fall over. <laughs> For oh, big boy. Okay, I'm gonna say that because of that one, that um, that's an instant fail. I'm not gonna let him take the DC 12 saving throw on that. Ah, oh, eight Four. points of damage. Leaving him dead on the ground as your as your as your um, sacred flame. Uh, well, you don't have a torch, so you don't have a. So where does this come from then? It. Wait, what? Uh, it comes. Oh wait, there's no light, is there? No, nope, there is still because it's not his turn yet. He just went down last turn. But who? He didn't have a torch, did he? Or did he? Yeah, the, did not. The, guy, the guy behind you had a torch. Yeah, the dead guy has a torch, but that's gone out now, right? Oh. No, no, no. no. Wait, he you just, just you just killed. noticed that, right? <laughs> the minute it comes to his turn, it'll be one turn after he's gone down, so his torch will go out here. Oh, so it's still light for, lit for now. Yeah, it's okay, right so now, the, yeah, because it just hit the floor. So the light shoots out from the torch and splashes all over the downed cultist, scorching him and, to a crisp. Um, and then, yes, yeah, so I'll move my stick uh, over, <laughs> um, uh, over, over here, 20 yards over here. So that's 15. You can move it another yeah. five feet. No, that, that'll do for now. Okay. Go ahead and then uh, turn. Yeah. Okay. 
It's dark. It's, it's dark now. I'm going to shout. It's dark and full of terrors. I'm going to shout. Wait, Daka, Somebody you're up. pick up it's, that it's torch. Black. Flargo, or, Flargo <laughs> or Eliod, pick up that torch. Please. Nope. I'm going to be the terror in the night. Well, they're, they're both asleep, so just somebody pick up the torch. All <laughs> or right. I'll shoot you. Why don't you pick well, up the, the torch, torch out. Dim? Because it's pitch fucking black, Dim. How do I pick have up you the torch? Got, you've got a torch on you, haven't you? What's your inventory? Oh, yeah, I probably do have a torch on me. <laughs> if you. If you pull out your torch, that will be your action, to pull it out and light it. I probably do have a torch. Well, you can't yeah. do anything else, can I you? Do, yeah. yeah, you do. All right. Yeah, otherwise it's just stand there anyway. So. What's this? Okay, so you may move your full movement and you still have your bonus action if you choose. What Jesus the heck? Christ. This this is just the torch. This is what happened with the torch. I don't know. <laughs> well, you yeah. a torch. You <laughs> I didn't mean you should torch everything, Jimmy. That was a big torch, wasn't it? I don't know what happened there. But heroes. Right, so I can go here. Fucking yeah. Jim. Jim, what Jim did is Jim grabbed the, uh, he used his own torch instead of me at attaching a torch to his body, which is why I told you guys, don't click your torch. All oh, right. Because I add it to you and then that gives you your light. Uh, sorry. <laughs> so. All right. Can you see the last cultist now? Yes, I can see him now. Right. So I've got some manacles. So, yeah. um, is that a bonus action? So ma manacle, manacle the guy next to you then, and I'll walk up and, uh, slit the throat of the last guy. Yeah, well, I mean, however we do this, we can manacle one and, like, well, Dim Dim Dimitriov here, so, like, next turn or whatever. I mean, the combat's basically over, right? Because it's only yeah, it'll be, Well, no, it's not over yet because yes. we've got to figure out what happens because his spell will eventually wear off. Yeah, yeah, so but Dim it's very few seconds. Dimmy like, Dim will, right? Dim will want to uh, manacle Dimitri the guy of, next to you. Yeah, Dimitri Dimitri will will do whatever he wants to do. Yeah, well... <laughs> So, can, can I manacle him with this bonus action? No, but uh, manacles would not be a bonus action. That would be an action. So next turn you can. Next turn, next or turn. I'll let you hand them to Dimi Dimitriov. And if he wants to manacle him, he then can. <laughs> Dimitriov, are you going to manacle this guy if I give you the manacles? Oh, hell no. Oh, hell no. <laughs> why, why have you assumed the trend role? <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm, I know what I, exactly what I want to do. <laughs> we need to. We need to fucking take somebody prisoner. Okay. We need to. We need to. Okay. Okay. We need to. And what would you like to see, brother? What's What's the time on these guys uh, waking up? Then We've got like four more turns or something. Loads oh well, yeah, yeah. So yeah, you can do that next turn. Yeah, six, I'll just do six it next more turn. Turns. Yeah, I'll do it next turn. Oh, yeah, that's me, Tom. Okay, Dimitriov, you're up, brother. All right, I am going to move over to this guy, and I'm going to search his body. No. The uh, guy here, the big guy with the club and the shield. Okay, you um, you search his body. Give me one second, because I've got to find out what's on him, and then I'll put that into your inventory. Go ahead and move forward. Uh, yeah, that's it. Flargo Snarp, you're up. Yep, I'm walking up to this guy. Pulling out my daggers. <laughs> and then slitting his throat. Okay, Elliot, you're about to witness this. Is there anything mm -hmm. you're doing? Uh, not yet, not yet. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right, so... Um, Daka, you're cool with this? Just making sure. I'm always yeah. cool with it, yeah. I okay. mean, I think we could... Uh, oh, yeah. we, so we could, we could I mean, it's both, relatively right? simple, right? You we take your dagger and you... Let's just capture both. Let's capture both. Over both. You, I'm sorry? I've already slid his throat. No. Let's no, I've already slid his throat. No, I've already slid his throat. Because one might talk and the other one might not. So no, capture no, both. No, I've slid his throat. No, no I've don't slit his throat, Flargo. No. No, I'm telling you to not fucking slit his throat. Do not slit his throat, Flargo. Too late. Right, I'll shoot Flargo then. 
Whoa, whoa, whoa. whoa. <laughs> yeah. We're not going down that road, guys. Yeah, not I'm, yet. I'm, sh- I'm aiming the crossbow the episode and saying, three, do not okay? slit his throat. I'm aiming I, the crossbow and saying, do not slit his throat. I implore okay, Daka, just... do, do not fire Daka. Yeah, we cannot come to blows I'm, against I'm, one another. I'm, I'm, I'm more uh, turning around as Daka. Uh... Do not slit yeah, his throat. me not to do it. And yeah, I, I ask why. I, I ask oh, why. Wait. Do not slit his throat. I'm sorry, say again? I ask why. He's defenseless. We can capture them both. How can how can I keep this guy under shackles? We can capture we them both. He's twice the, he's twice the size Dimitri of me. So you one, have, okay, so let's, let's think easy. about this. So you guys all have, two of you have rope in your backpack, hemp and rope, 50 feet of it. Yep. It would be very, now usually we would have some type of a grappling check or something. These guys are defenseless. If Dmitriev and Daka held him down, it would be very easy for either Eliad or um, Florigal Snarp to tie the other one up, essentially. Yeah, but how are we bringing the two of them back to like the city? Turns. We've got like four turns. No, no, no. Back to the city. How are we four easily, bringing easily. two of them? We bring them? We bring them to the brother. We bring them to the brothers. Easily. Uh, we just have to talk to them we can first. trust the brothers. We've just got this to is torture right them, Dale. Flagle, Flagle, we just need to torture them and get the information out of them. Then we can kill them. Right, I'm cool with the torture. Anywhere. All right, all right, all right, all right. I'm cool. <laughs> We're keeping him alive to torture him, okay? So now we've gone okay. from murder to torture. This him. is great. I'm yes. just saying, yes. don't kill him yet, okay? Yeah, okay, okay, I'm good. Yeah, put his fingernails out first. I'm taking out. I'm taking out my rope, then. Wait, do I have rope? I'm going to check my inventory. I've got rope. I've got hemp. And I'm, rope. Yeah, I've got hemp and rope. Uh, so I'm taking that out and tying, tying up his hands. Yeah, I've got hemp and rope. So I'm taking that out and tying, tying up his hands behind his back. You're gonna have okay, to do so a, now uh... you've got to wait for them to assist you because you're you're small, tiny. He is large, well, medium sized. Prone. And when you start to move him, it does wake him from yeah, his. Him up, yeah. No, I have to slap him up for him you're, to wake you're, him so up. So you're effectively going to take his arms, put him either behind or in front of his back, and start tying him together. You're going to move him around to do this in some way. Yeah, all you need to do is get somebody me. else to help you with the activity. That's all. Wait for me. Wait all right. for me. I'll just wait for you. Has, has combat ended or uh, is combat still going? No, if, if, that's, if you're going to tie up that other guy, then combat's over. Okay, yeah, I'll yeah, go we, over we and help. Him. I'll, I'll help him. I'll, I'll go and tie him. I'll pin him down while Flag will uh, tie him up. Yeah, and then okay, we can perfect. do the same so, here, right? We can do the same with the other one. Uh well, I the other one's pin. manacled. That's yeah, that was yeah. simple. There were two of you there. Yeah. You, um, you, yeah. He's uh, Elliot. Will will roll him quickly while you manacle him. Yeah. As long as we have activity happening to both before the spell ends, we're done. We don't need to role play that out. Yeah. Okay. All right. Cool. Can we can can we search the dead guys then? Yeah. If you want to, yes. So you have. Yeah. I want to search. Hold the on dead one guys. second. So you have, whoop, yeah, you have two prone. You don't even need to move around. You're fine. You have two prone, um, but tied up. Where, where, where would you like to place them? Do you want to just leave them where they're at? Do you want to put them up against a wall? Yeah, we'll collect them. Uh, we'll collect them here uh, in the back of the cavern. Oh, I think we should put them in the positions of this 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 logo on the floor. Separated so they can't <laughs> eat each other. We don't yeah. accidentally summon a demon. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right. Let's not, let's, let's not do anything too hasty. Okay. Okay. So, double. um, Dmitriev. Yes. What did I get? So on his body, he has a club that mm-hmm. is ceremonial of some kind in nature. You don't recognize what this guy is doing, worshiping, summoning appeasing whatever we already talked about that right Mm. but he's got a wooden club it's got these gnarled pieces of metal in it it's covered in blood it's got (laughs) sinew hanging from it it was used in whatever they were doing here you find six pieces of gold on him as well oh can i add that to my thing you yep definitely go in there and add that and you find some documents. Just write this on your... Um, you, you can't discern what language they are written in. You find some documents on them. Put in your, um, put in your Slack. 
that you found three just put on their cultist papers. I've got it listed later what they are. Three of them. Okay. Again, it is it is written in you know cursory overlook of them. It's written. It's 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 something you have you have no clue what it is. You can't discern numbers, letters, sentences. It's just this 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 garbled scrawl. It is written in blood, however. It is written in dried blood. Okay. So, like, do I announce this? Like, can it's I... a, that's totally up to you. Okay, so I'm taking the, the mace or whatever it is, the club, and I'm going to keep that. And, uh, and uh, I'm going to just, I'm going to say to Elliot and Flagle and Daka, I'm going to go, this is what I have found on this guy. I've got this paper that's written in blood. Can mm. any of you decipher it? Or do do I, have you any of you seen any of the like before? Okay, so yeah, Elliot, but, he hands you the sheets of paper, right? All three of them. Uh -huh. you, you handed him all three, right, Dimitriov? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. I'm quite open. So um, it's 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 parchment. It's not like skin or leather or anything. It is parchment. Um, not very well cared for. Um, but they are scrawled with blood in something that you, if you'd like to make a religion check. At regular, we'll see if you can discern anything from these. Oh, it's close. Uh, I've lost my chat. It came up at twelve. It, yeah. I saw the last one at twelve, but yeah, I've lost. Yeah, the it, chat. Um, it. I deleted it right before you rolled by accident. Oh, so what is your what's your bonus to your religion? It'll say right next to it. There's a grey and a white one. Which one are you talking about? Plus two. And you rolled an 11, so a 13. So you can't discern anything about these. I thought you rolled a 12. I rolled a 12, yeah. I'm sorry, 14. You still you still can't discern what? anything about them at all. Can I? Uh, what, are, what? are they? Are they? Have a look at them. Are they? Yeah, can I have a look? See if I roll a 20. <laughs> are they? No. So. That's one of those things that we talked about, right? Oh, Remember yeah. where, like, if everybody takes a roll, eventually somebody rolls a 20 type yeah. deal? You yeah. find yeah, whoever but... is the best at it. Usually I will give you a roll of advantage if I feel there's an advantage there. But In this can, case, can we, this is something that is there's... so foreign to everybody that it's a regular roll. Say yeah, again? I, I was just wondering, like, if, if, because uh, we have different language proficiencies, right? Correct. So, other, like, other... If, I, if I can actually tell what the language is. So, um, Elliot, kind of, Elliot and Dimitrov kind of passing them around, saying, does anybody read any of these? None of you speak the language that this is written in. Okay. All right. Cheers. Mm. A good you, call. You, good call. You, uh, you, you can keep those, Elliot. Oh, I just want this. Oh. Thanks, Dimitrov. Oh, you've got the mace, have you? We, we, might have to, uh, we might have to use that for evidence, uh, Dimitrov. Like, oh, I'll, I'll bring it with me, yeah. Yeah, yeah, we might have to use for evidence. Did he have any money on him uh, by any chance on his dead body? No, I didn't see any at all. No. You didn't see any at all. Oh, okay, interesting. Interesting. What, what did what it is? So what did we find? I was uh, not paying attention. We found the scrolls and we found a mace. Was that it? Yeah. He, so he so Demi, you noticed Dimitrov picks up this this yeah, wooden yeah. gnarled ceremonial you think, but also a weapon club with um with these these gnarled pieces of just jagged metal that are that right. were obviously used in whatever they were doing here they're covered in blood and sinew and and it's there it's just this hideous i mean it is ugly this weapon it's not yeah. it has not been designed for beauty it has not been designed for function other than whatever they were using it for yeah and we don't find anything else when we search the the bodies are these two guys away? So, yeah, no, are, are, you, are you deciding them, yeah. to search the rest of the bodies? Yeah, yeah we're searching them. I'm, I'm over here searching these two. Yeah, let's search the whole lot. And we also want to have a look at what they were uh, carving up. Uh, we can like frisk. the humanoids and the ores. We can frisk the ones that we've captured as well, can't we? In fact, we could strip them. <laughs> yeah, can Elliot make another Elliot can like, dick slap religion? Them. <laughs> Can, can Elliot make another religion check to see if, like, he can tell anything about this ritual? Okay, so now like, that Elliot is here, see it absolutely, and, and Elliot, take a regular, um, a regular roll on this one as well. 
because this is nothing you've ever seen before. This will be to try to determine what's going on here. Okay, so a 19. Yeah, I so, have an idea. So you have a you have a you have a strong idea. This is definitely an appeasement ceremony of some kind. As mentioned, as we talked about earlier, Dadel, I'm sorry, um, Flargosnarp, when he came back from his initial invisible stage, telling you that, you know, oh, I didn't, you know, you asked him, did you see a pedestal? Did you see this? Did you see that? So you've confirmed your suspicions that this indeed is, they're just, they're taking this meat, whatever, and they're just spreading it around. So whether that's to feed something, whether that's to probably not to summon something unless you've never seen a ceremony quite like this, right? Like I said, usually you'll have individuals in areas, quit moving around there. Uh, <laughs> those are your moves <laughs> you're using right there. Um, so usually um, you will see in like a ceremony of some kind that's summoning, there's a specific point. Yes, there is this large symbol that's etched into the ground again you can make nothing of it there is this dirt pile here how large how Sorry. large is this thing that's uh, etched into the ground well it's somewhat well, 30 35 feet across if you count the five yeah. feet across the ground there. oh so we can't do the indiana across. jones and like scrape the uh, <laughs> like, you're gonna do what paper. you know like the indiana jones where you put the paper down and Oh. You need a you need a really big piece of paper there, Jim. Or Dimitri. Yeah. Can I search the dirt? No, pile? but if you want to, that does bring up a good point. Elliot would yeah. have in his kit. He could take a piece of paper or a parchment, even flip over some yeah, of those parchments you found oh, and scrawl oh, this these symbols on there. Mm. Let's do it. Let's do it. Yeah, that's a good do idea. It. Write, write it. Write it with blood. Not with blood. <laughs> <laughs> so Elliot, if you put in your in your Slack that you you're just put the um, cultist symbol, and I'll know what that is. Okay, please. So there is this large piece of this large section of dirt in the middle, right? And 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 Flargo Snarp, you kind of said, well, what is that from? Looking up, this did indeed fall in from the ceiling, and it's this soil is just as as uh, as rich as the soil above ground. That's fertile. So here you are some 60 feet deep, and that soil layer is very, very rich. Well, we should definitely take a sample of this. And it definitely has that same red tint to it. Yep. I wish I was as rich as that soil. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to search. Can I search all these bodies? Please? This, this yeah. guy right here that I just pinged next to Dimitriov, he looks up at Dimitriov. What are you what are you gonna do with us? No, we're searching the bodies first. Don't answer him. Uh I say to I, I turn to him and I say we have some questions for you. Not now, but we will ask you some questions. Okay, Daka, searching those bodies, you find six pieces of gold. Yes. You can take the dagger and their scimitar if you want. Their robes are bloodied, torn, tattered. They're covered in blood. Their boots. They're you know from all the combat, all of their their uh, their leather armor that they were wearing has been destroyed. Glory. If you choose to take that with you. No, I don't care about that. But I'm happy I've got the gold. <laughs> okay. This this guy next to me, does he have anything? He's got two pieces of gold on him and another scimitar as well. His his is all damaged and all cut to hell. Do I have a sack? I I, I take <laughs> the I take the gold pieces. Do I have a sack? You, uh, is it on your character sheet that you have a sack? Um, I'd probably. I believe not. you have your backpack if that's what you're asking. Mm, I'd rather have a sack. Could I? Could I? Uh, <laughs> I think what I could do is, you know, like these guys. If these guys got like hoods, these guys got hoods. They've got hoods, haven't they? Yeah, yeah they're, they're. I mean, they're. You know, from combat and getting struck and all of that. Yes, they do. But if you're if you're thinking you could. In fact, they're you know if you wanted to, you could take a section of their tattered robes, cut it with a, with one of their daggers, and you could do a, a you could make a sack in essence. I think, Jimmy, I think well. Jimmy wants to take the head. I'm going to take the head of this guy. Yeah, I'm going to take this guy's head. <laughs> no, that's you know See? that's again you know going harkening back to to Daka's um, quote unquote police work background. When you are sent out, you know, wanted dead or alive has a meaning, right? And there's mm. got to be a way to bring back some evidence of that. Mm. So this is not something that's that's terribly unknown to him. 
Four rings. Yeah. Now the, 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 the tough part is going to be pieces. getting his head off with a with a hand crossbow. <laughs> yeah, well, I'll take the I'll, scimitar I'll, I'll, of one of those guys. No, oh, no, that's a good I, idea. I figured you would. A I'm going to ask actually. you if you don't want to use my dagger instead. Right, no, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take these, what, one, two, three, four scimitars. I'm going to take all four scimitars and put them in my backpack. All right. <laughs> um, the two gold pieces, I take one each and flick towards Demi and uh, Elliot. Uh, right, and say, here, guys. I, I want to call a team meeting. I want Elliot, Dadal, and Jim. And uh, yeah. like, the guy's asking what we're going to do with him. Right. Have um, we frisked these? Have all they got? Is, is, is all the. Do, oh, uh, have we searched them? Have we got everything we can get? Is the only weapon they have the scimitars? Like, they don't have a scimitar and a dagger, right? Yeah, no, no, the scimitars, then the other ones just had the daggers. Yeah, so no daggers. So, okay. Because yeah, obviously we want to no. disarm the people that we've we've captured, right? Yeah, I mean, we need yeah, if you when check we... your inventory, I yeah. put the four scimitars in your inventory, just so you know. Thank you very okay. much. Okay, so, so hey, here we go, guys. Right, are we going to question them here? Like, do we yes. want to know what's going on? Yes. And does anyone have any particular question they want to ask? I object to the use of torture. Well, oh, we, have, we haven't, we haven't done it. that yet. Well, I, we I heard you yet. discussing torture earlier, so I know that, that it's on your mind. Oh, okay. No, no, that wasn't out okay. of character. Shit, no, it did mention torture. Shit. So okay. I, I, I say, <laughs> you know, my, I am, I'm a disciple of the chief engineer. I'm, you know, pri primarily enthralled to, you know, those of iron and quartz, but also I am a healer and, you know, I'm here, you know, to bonk people on the head if they're getting angry, but not to torture Okay. Yeah, those who are defenseless. I mean, as long I, as they tell us what we need, we don't need to use torture. I am, I am impressed with Elliot and his motive. Who would be? <laughs> and uh, I, I respect his honesty, and I will say that if he's happy, like that, we that I, I will not partake in the torture because he has healed me quite a lot, and I, I have a, a kind of respect for the nom. I respect that, Dimitrov. Thank Even you. though he's a little bit weird. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. But is there anything that we should be asking these guys? Because you're clearly more intelligent than the rest of us. So, yeah, well, it's well, you're it's, the nom to ask them. It, it, it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a ritual to uh, appease something, right? So, what are you appeasing and why? Yes, I agree. Okay. Yeah, I should probably right. be the one doing the questioning, right? Because... Uh... But, but, but... Before you do You're this, scared, I'm yes. just gonna. Well, we're, so, we're no, I don't have intimidation. Yeah. Don't have intimidation. Right? We're, we're not. We've not directly asked anything, so we're discussing this amongst I, ourselves. So. Yeah, I have very high charisma. Uh, do you so know? That could, <laughs> yeah, so that I could uh, <laughs> persuade them to talk. But, uh, <laughs> I, I also want to say that I I can create an illusion um, of like a whisper uh, that they can hear that it's like if they're like doing this ritual and seeing us like the the uh, the main guy like their leader had some form of magical proficiency we probably like, they should have kept be... the main guy a question no no no, no 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 we had to kill him he was too dangerous yeah mm. yeah and uh, i i just think that if if i create a whisper like telling them uh, that they need to tell us what they know, know. Like that could actually frighten them into talking. Um, well, how how do you guys feel about that? And is that okay? I think let's just start else? off normal. Ask them who they are, what they're doing, what's going on. See if they just talk without anything, right? Like they might just be normal people. It's not a I mean, movie, just creating it? that illusion. Normal just people that that horses. First. It's not a movie okay. where, like, you know, every henchman is like the most evil man in the world, and he will use his last dying breath to try and kill the hero. They just they might just be normal people, right? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> they might just be normal people. Got caught up in a bad crowd. <laughs> Daka, look around. <laughs> yeah, they're normal people right. who sacrifice horses and stuff. It's not that crazy. So. <laughs> he, to be fair, Daka does sound like the normal police. Do you know what I mean? Like. Completely oblivious to everything. Okay, so who is taking the lead here, and what are you asking? I, I want to create the illusion. Okay, what is your illusion specifically, please? A whisper uh, into the ears of the cultists. Like, I do it in a five-feet cube. 
So they're okay. perfectly yeah, no, that's fine. situated. It's, right? it's a simple it's cantrip, so I'll let you do it to both of them. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so they can hear like this whisper um, of someone else's voice, like an indistinct. I, I just pick a voice at random that I've heard in town. Are you running um, up that hill? <laughs> So it's not <laughs> it's not my voice, uh, but it's telling them over and over. Uh, you need to tell him what you know. Uh, you need to tell him what you know. Okay. And so it's going. It's going to go on for a minute. Okay. So both of so them. They obviously, this, they're both no, reacting no, to this. this right whisper. Yeah. They both kind of look at each other first, like kind of like, "Did you say that? Did you say that?" Type deal. <laughs> um, so they're a little bit confused. They look at uh, at Dmitriev and Daka, and they're still a little bit confused. They look over at you know Elliot and Flargelstarp, and they're still confused. They kind of look above them, over them. They're you know they're, they they can't put their fingers to their ears like anything you know because they're they're tied and manacled. But they shake their heads a little bit, um, maybe tap the back of their heads slightly against the rock, like you know almost like if they have a ringing in their in their ears, like when you see a friend who's doing that. Yeah. There we go. So let's just let's just ask them then. You know, like you know who they are, what what they're doing, what's going on. I think I think. Hang on, hang on. So, uh, what is the best skill for like interrogation? Intimidation would be the best one. If, if it would be an, it. in this case, it would be an intimidation role. Not right, a, so sometimes I'm, you can use charisma, but this would be an intimidation role because right, these are so adversaries I, I and you're questioning in, them. I have intimidation plus four. I don't know about you guys. I'm 14, no. so Plus I've got three, quite yeah, high intimidation. Yeah, you're the best then, Dimrath. Right, so I'm going to go... What the flip is going on here, <laughs> Woo! <laughs> <laughs> so make, make an intimidation roll. Normal. God damn it, Dimmy. You need to swear. <laughs> I, so I sigh and which, shake which my one head. Are, which one are you saying this to, Dimmy? The one to, I'm sorry, Dimitri. The one to your right or the one to your left? Uh, I want to know what the nom thinks. The one to your right? I'll go to the one on the right. <laughs> That's very decisive. So, you say that to the one on the right, you know, what the literally what the flip is going on here. And he immediately looks over to his friend. His other friend looks at him. And they both kind of look at each other. And they look at you. They look at the dead bodies. Right? They're contemplating something here. Then they look at your axe that is still dripping with the, 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 <laughs> the blood of, of their buddies, right? Right. So I, what, I, what's I, happening here doesn't concern you. Let us go. Be okay. on your way. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to pick up this one, right? This one here. I'm going to pick him up. And, wait, Jim. Wait, wait, wait. Drag him off, right? 30 foot here. Yeah. Drag him over here so that, like... Because, okay. you know, you yeah, don't like let this. witnesses like talk this. to each other, right? You yeah, don't yeah, yeah. Talk I like this. Other. I like this. Yeah. Yeah. Right, so Jim drags off the... And then yeah, I'm, I'm just going to move him to where I think you're going to you're gonna put him around the corner, basically. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. That's good. Oh, that's I mean, that, Yeah, that's that doesn't take torch. a roll. That doesn't... Yeah, that's easy. Okay, you've separated him. Yeah. Can, can Elliot light a torch or something? I can't see <laughs> he it, needs a torch. And then we'll say that you put that one in that corner because now there is no line of sight. Yeah, and I'm going to... I'm going to bend down on one knee i'm gonna crouch over him i'm gonna pull his hood lean it back so he's staring me in the eye and i'm gonna now the interesting it. part um dimitrov is you can't see him anymore uh okay yeah i i I, 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 I don't have a torch, uh, There's a torch there was a torch on the ground isn't there one of them uh, one of them had a torch. so uh, if that's what you want to do elliot i'll just put a torch on you i'll figure you picked it up it's okay you don't have to go okay. do it okay no, okay yeah yeah what happened uh, uh, we just I can't see the guy that I'm interrogating basically. <laughs> what so, happened? What it, what did Jimmy do? No, Jimmy took the other guy away and Jimmy's got the torch, right? So <laughs> why did so you just, I couldn't see it, it just went pitch black basically. So I'm gonna <laughs> Why did you snatch him? Because so they can't they're talk looking at each them. other. Like yeah, he like, uh, like right. separation is best. So I, I crouch down yeah, on one apparently. knee. I grab him by the back of the hood and I lean his head against the wall so he's staring me in the eye and I'm going to repeat the question. I'm going to go, what the flip is going on here? Okay, give me another intimidation roll. This time we're going to give you a plus two. Not a not an advantage, but I'm going to give you a plus because now you've separated him and his buddy. Um, they've both seen 
17 plus so, no, two, no, 19. that's actually a 19. Okay. Um, so they've both seen um, Daka remove the head of who the, was leading the ceremony. It wasn't a like a, 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 a destructive beheading. He put it into a bag. They're like they're they're watching what's going on. They're like, dude, they're collecting something. There's you know. A perfectly normal beheading, yeah. <laughs> well, you know what I mean. It's not like it's not like Daka <laughs> took a club and smashed his head to pieces and put it in a bag, right? Like a, it's yeah. just a, you can tell when when a when a when somebody's collecting things. <laughs> it wasn't, it wasn't or whatever it might be. Done it, which had been drinking a bit of the blood before you put it in. <laughs> Great, right? So he looks up at he looks up at you, Dmitriov, and and he just he just tells you he says, and you can see he's slightly broken now. He doesn't want to tell you this. He's broken. The worm must feed. <laughs> that sounds familiar to me. I bet it does. The worm, the worm <laughs> must feed. feed. <laughs> you got to get us out of here right now. Did you hear what I said, Dimitriov? So what does the worm need to feed? What Did you hear he what I said secondly? Right now. Right now. He said he said you I've, you've got to get us out of here right now. Oh shit. And what I happens did. if we don't? F the worm must feed. Friend, friends oh. I implore you. And he start let's... he's starting to he's he's not panicking, but he's just you can tell he's focused on this now. Let's go, guys. Let's, let's, let's yes, the, agreed. Uh, okay, yeah, let's okay, go. Somebody, let's somebody shout and tell me. <laughs> <laughs> Dagger! <laughs> We're time to go! Okay. Okay, so hold on one sec. Now, before, don't you don't worry. You don't, you don't have to role play this part. Um, I'm sorry, what on the map. You don't have to do what that. What does yet. he mean? Okay. So, well, um, like, we need to leave now, is what he meant. So, <laughs> you, you guys can roll you whatever you whatever you say amongst yourself. I'm going to assume that you've walked over to Daka. Daka walks back over. Whatever. You're good. Mm. You're within earshot of each other. Go ahead. What well, does he mean by the worm? We can, we can decide. Yes. I think it's pretty heavily implied we have to get out of here so that, you know, we don't get eaten by whatever the fuck the worm is, right? <laughs> we can discuss this upstairs, right, once yeah. we're out. Yeah, let's just not die. Yeah, then we should kill them if we leave them here. But, but then we, we need more information, right? Yeah. We've got to get out. You have to get us them. out of here now. Let's get them out. I don't want to lead two of them. Can That's we do gonna... a? Can we do like a like um like a per, like not perception check? But I just want to see like if I feel like he's lying to me or he's trying. Yeah, to Yeah, definitely, us. definitely. That you just do a simple per, yeah, do a perception check. Uh, is any of these guys more perspective than me, uh, Dakar? Uh, no, you you're you're gonna make it because he's talking to you specifically. Okay. Okay. So perception is. Not very high. <laughs> That's a good roll. Okay. Yeah, perception, insight, same thing. More. Oh, do you <laughs> want me to do insight? It's, it, he's to... he's more. He's he's either reading him or he's get, catching his own feelings. Right. He's not lying to you. Oh, do you want me to? Or oh, insight is actually exactly the same. For, yeah. He's um... he's um he's he's not lying. He, as far as you can tell, he's not lying to you. You 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 look at him. Right, you've questioned prisoners before in the field of battle, right? Yeah. Yep. How many troops do you have over that hill? How do we get into your um, How do we get into your camp without What's the easiest route in? And his eyes are are, are a little bit large, right? He's starting to sweat a little bit at the brow, at, at above the lip. You know, obviously he's stressed out because he's worried you're going to kill him, but he's 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 under some stress here. He's under some duress. Uh, am I allowed to do an insight check to find out the nature of their greatest fear? Or can I not do that now? Maybe I do that later when we're. Now, why? Here. Why would you ask that? I, I want to ask you that. What's what? What's bringing that about? Is this out of character? To find their great no, because you, you know nothing about them. That would be like well, me asking but, but, you but, your but, greatest but, fear, and I know I, you pretty well. But I know they're trying to stop something happening, right? And I want to find out. I want to sort of try and define, you know, exactly what that is. Does that not make sense? Maybe not. So, so explain that one more time, real quick. So we, 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 we know, faith, right? yeah, we we know they're scared of something, right? They're doing they're doing something here to try. Well, and... you could you could simply you guys could simply ask them. What is well, I, I was going to say, what is the worm and what, like? 
is the word. But he yeah. wants to get out of here, doesn't he? Yeah, I guess I guess either way we should leave this till later, right? Yeah, we've got to do it pretty quick. We could leave one of them. With, like, since this one's, like, responsive, and, uh, I mean, I guess I would have been questioning the other one at the same time, so... Like... Can, you, can you intimidate that guy, then, yeah, Jim, should I, should... see if he says something different? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, you can. Yep, yeah, you're, you've separated the, uh, the, the, uh... You've you've separated the witnesses, Daka. So feel free to to make an intimidation check. Oh, oh fuck me. Okay, so what what are you asking him specifically? Um, like, well, I mean, so I guess I was like saying, what what's going on? You know, who are you guys? What are you doing here? Is the is the thing? Okay, right? so he he kind of he he says somewhat the same thing, right? He's like, the worm has to feed, man. We've yeah. got to get out of here. What, what I can hear my friend over there saying we have to get out of here. I don't know what he's told you. And he's going to go into a little bit more because of this this good role. You're, you're a little bit more intimidating, whatever. Mm. He's like, there's a reason all this stuff is on the floor. He's coming. The worm is coming. He, she, it, whatever. The worm is coming. Mm. So, so like, we don't need to leave. You've got to get us out of here. There's no more talking, man. You've got to get us out of here. Yeah, it's going to eat these bodies and, and everything. So we don't need to leave one of them to to feed it, right? We can just leave. Let's just leave. Let's just I, let's just pick them up and leave. I, yeah, I, I, I've, I, I, sorry, go on, Demetrius. No, I was just going to say I've spunked all my abilities. Do you know what I mean? So, right. well, I mean, yeah. However, like, will will we get another? Like, assuming this worm has got something through the disposers and whatnot, do we not fight the worm? Nah, mate. <laughs> we don't know what it is. It's a little worm, right? Like, you it's know, not... worm or something. <laughs> anyway, mate, we're getting, we're so, getting paid like so we're getting you, paid. I'm just going to point out something again. Yeah, there's so we go to bring back some of the of our pay grade. And you want to fight the fucking death love... worm of Gondor. So they spread all this blood around, all this meat around, all this. The worm must feed. Oh, it's just a little worm. <laughs> yeah, it's just an earthworm. It's just an earthworm, Jim. It's just a problem. It's <laughs> just an earthworm going to well, come Well, I, 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 I won't be fighting it. Just saying. What's the worm? I want to ask the and, guy what the worm is. And we get to find out the answer to that question. No, I think... I so want you're to ask asking that right now? Guy, yeah, yeah, yes. What is, and, what, what is the worm? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go up to him holding my dagger, so I'm extra intimidating. Extra intimidating. What's the fucking worm? <laughs> yeah, yeah, do the one near Daco, because then it's not in front of Elio, then Elio will get upset. Sorry, my other boy came no, out of the front door. Okay, so um, which one are you talking to, Florida? Implied violence is fine. Who's the one in front of Cham uh, yeah. Ch Chammy? <laughs> no, no, I'm doing, <laughs> I'm doing this one. I'm doing this one. I'm doing this one. Which, which? Okay, perfect. Okay, so, and what are you asking him? I'm holding up my dagger. What the fuck is the worm? The worm is the worm, man. I don't know where it, it comes from, but the worm is coming. And he, he starts, he starts to kind of shimmy up really slowly. Like, he's doing it very cautiously. Like, hey, man, I am not a threat to you, but we got to get out of here. Right. Like, he's just... Right. Be look, more explicit. Judge, at this it's time, Judge Dacker just yells to them, look, we've got, we've got to get out of here. We, we can't waste any more time. We have to get out of here, but let's walk without rhythm, and we won't attract the worm. Talk without if, rhythm. If we, if we, <laughs> they're <laughs> at their most intimidated. You gotta bump those intimidated numbers intimidated up a little bit there, Jim. Right here, right now. <laughs> okay, so what are we doing? Let's get some consensus We're moving, here. We're moving. We're Let's moving. go. I'm moving. I'm moving. Okay. What are you? Okay, hold on. What are you doing with the two prisoners? I'm grabbing him by the scruff of the neck and dragging him with me. Yeah, they want Okay, so Dimitriov is grabbing right? the closest one to him. They want to get yep. out of here too, right? So so we're, we're just like frog marching them, yeah. Okay, so you've got both they're, of them, correct? Yep. They're yep. motivated to talk now. They're not going to be motivated to talk later. Oh my god, Dadle. <laughs> the, the, something's going to kill us all. <laughs> They'll still talk. They'll still talk when we get out. They'll talk when they're getting waterboarded and flayed alive. Don't whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> well, we can, we can just... Quick second. <clears throat> we can just give them to uh, the country wizard, right? No. Why not? Why not, Date? Why not, Flag or Snap? Yeah, Flag, why do you want to uh, kill these people? You're meant to be good, aren't you? <laughs> no, I'm chaotic neutral. Mm. Well, I'm up for giving these to the country wizard. Mm. Surely <clears throat> he will be able to divine their intentions. Yeah. Okay, so you're still moving. So I'm assuming. So I'm assuming. Are you running? Are you walking? Are you slowly? Moving? Are you we're what? Walking, what pace are you keeping? In. We're walking. Like, we're like walking medium. Horribly. Medium. Okay. Yeah. So just to just to paint the scene a little bit, because you guys, I'm sure you're looking around a little bit. 
there's no sign right now of whatever. There's no rumbling. There's no um, no tremors. Objecting. It's I'm sorry. Okay. We can do it. We can do it. We can do it. <laughs> this is why I'm objecting. It, it's a bit late to ask, I guess. It's probably too late. I, I can't ask about that dirt pile, can I? We no, what, what, what do you want to ask about walking. it? Because you guys we're spent walking. a few we minutes there. We can walk and talk, can't we? We can walk I and thought talk. we took a sample with the dirt. Yeah, you yeah, had but, a sample but, of it. But, so I, I, I'm trying to understand the topology of the situation. Is there a big hole in the roof? Like, where's There the is. It's not a hole, but where the earth fell from it, there is. it, it kind of disappears in, in, away from you because it's about 15 feet up and in the shadows. And how wide is the hole? Uh, somewhere around 8 to 10 feet wide. Pretty big worm. So you get to about here, right? And up ahead of you, you can't, you, you hear, um, Daka, you specifically hear this in advance because of your, um, mm -hmm. your training. Give me a perception roll. I want to see how high your perception roll is. You've heard this. Four. Uh... Ugh, not very high. No, no, that's fine. So, all you hear is this. Daka. What? Daka. It's Jimmy. It's a little Jimmy. <laughs> it's Daka. a little Jimmy. Daka, where, where are you, Daka? <laughs> oh my God. And emerging from the shadows, <laughs> I haven't done his artwork yet, is little Jimmy. Oh my god. He's a ghost. He's not a ghost. That's just what it looks like until I put artwork in. Oh my god. Daka, what what is this place? <laughs> where the hell are we? I'm scared, Daka. And that's where we take it to next week's episode. <laughs> oh my fucking god. <laughs> oh, Jimmy. This <laughs> is so bad. Is, is Jimmy the worm? <laughs> <laughs> little Jimmy's the worm. Only yeah. Dimitriov would say that. <laughs> exactly, because he's little. He's little Jimmy, so he's the worm. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, there you go. Amazing, amazing. Um, well, what can you say? Thank you very much. Uh, thank you very much, Jack Bull, for the uh, DMing glorious. Very well played, gentlemen. I enjoyed that. That was fun watching you guys try to work through. <laughs> how in the hell are we going to torture these guys? Without torturing these guys. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much, Elliot, Divi, and Daedal. Thanks for watching, everyone. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. And stay fantastic. Bye now. <laughs>